Morning Show, this CBS 2 News at noon and 6. This is CBS 2 special coverage, remembering 9-11. Good morning, everybody. I'm Roz Abram. And I'm Ernie Anastas. Thank you for joining us for this special coverage of the third anniversary of the September 11th attacks from the World Financial Center overlooking the World Trade Center site. The memorial ceremony remembers all who were lost on that tragic day. This third anniversary carries with it a special significance because this may be the last time that family will be allowed to visit the footprints here at Ground Zero for several years because construction of the Freedom Tower is about to begin. And we have live team coverage memorials from across the area including st paul's chapel which stood in the shadow of the world trade center and survived the collapse the tiny chapel that stood became a retreat for ground zero workers during the months that they spent clearing debris and we are also at a firehouse in brooklyn heights with the firefighters of engine 205 ladder 118 that house lost eight firefighters on september 11th they raced across the brooklyn bridge and we're one of the first fire crews to arrive at the burning towers. And also today we're going to take you to Middletown, New Jersey, as the town pauses to remember those who died. Now this is a community very hard hit by the attack on the Trade Center. 37 people living in Middletown never came home that day. The memorial at Point Lookout State Park on Long Island began at sunrise with a rather unusual tribute an ice sculpture of the Twin Towers rising from the sand in memory of all those who were lost on September 11th. And let's begin now at that little church that stood as the towers crumbled to the ground. CBS 2's Maurice Dubois joins us from St. Paul's Chapel across the street from the World Trade Center site. Maurice. Morning, Roz and Ernie. You know, a couple of things really strike you as you come down here this morning. Here we are just a, a block or so from ground zero. And first of all, it's an absolutely gorgeous day out here. Reminds you so much in an eerie way, if you will, of 9-11 itself. Second of all, it's a normal day for a lot of people here in the city coming and going about their business just a block or so from ground zero. This is the little chapel that stood amid all the ruins of the Trade Center just a block or so away. It's where people have come since 9-11 to pay their respects and commiserate and sort of get a spiritual healing, if you will, and, and uh, connect with New Yorkers ever since then. And one of the people who was there back then was Chester Johnson, and Chester joins me this morning because you had to come back today to sort of relive and experience and reconnect, didn't you? Yes, I did. Soon after 9-11, I came over to St. Paul's, which miraculously, as you indicated, stood um, after the events and became a relief uh, at, uh, center for the workers at, at Ground Zero. And we should say you work in the financial services business just down the street, right? But you had to be here. Yes. Uh, uh, well, I, I have to come back on a regular basis. It's it's a way of reconnecting and 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 uh, those uh, those days after 9/11 and and the effort that the city went through and also all of us as a community came together and St. Paul's was such an integral part of that coming together. What kind of sensation sort of goes through you on a day like this, this morning? Um, it's a mixture. Uh, it's a mixture of sort of the, the horror that occurred on 9-11, but, but the realization that there was more than that death and destruction and the efforts and uh, and the spirituality that occurred at St. Paul's afterwards in support of the workers and support of people like me who went through that uh, period of time it's a um, it's a combination it's a mixture of, uh, of uh, and, and a very disquieting but but at the same time reassuring emotional experience and you're going to keep on coming back right no question about it i will come back i come back um several times uh, a month in order to to reconnect and to well, well thanks for reconnecting with us we appreciate you sharing well. your time uh we should tell you that there's going to be a memorial service beginning here at 8 30 this morning and uh that's going to be conducted by uh, the new chaplain here at uh, at saint paul's and uh, that's what's going to be happening here during uh, the service as well that uh, during the uh, ceremony that's going to be happening at ground zero as well so for now that's what's happening let's send it back up to you Roz and ernie thank you maurice this of course is a day of mourning a day of reflection for so many families and our own cbs2 family remembers two of our own killed on 9 11. 
Bob Patterson and Isaias Rivera were the engineers who kept our transmitter working at the top of the World Trade Center. It was nearly a year before Bob's parents received word that some of their son's remains had been identified. One of our colleagues says that Bob was proud and very excited about his assignment at the World Trade Center. Isaias was known as a man who loved his family, loved life, and his church where a new altar and stage was dedicated in his name. Those who knew Isaiah say that there is no better way to keep his spirit alive. Two very special people that we will always remember here at CBS 2. Families of the victims are making their third trip to the footprints of the World Tower Trade Center site. By next year, the Freedom Tower will be under construction. And CBS 2's Dana Tyler is joining us live from the corner of Liberty and Church Streets as families are making their way to the memorial service. Good morning, Dana. Good morning, Ernie and Rods. We're on the southeast corner of the World Trade Center site. We've been here for about an hour or so as families have come in, and a lot of them doing what they've done over the past couple of years, going by the fence on the eastern side, putting up pictures and flowers, uh, reading notes, reading words written by other family members, um, sharing in these days uh, where there has been a loss and sharing that common feeling. You can see some of the pictures here of some of the family members. Now, with me here are the parents of a young woman who worked in one of the Trade Center Towers. This is Geneva and Thomas Dunbar. They lost their daughter, 31-year-old Marissa Taylor, and her picture's right here on Geneva's chest. And thank you for your time here. Geneva, this is your first time to come to one of the services. Why did you decide on this third anniversary to come here? Uh, because um, it's hard. It's hard. The reason why I didn't come before, but he didn't have no, no one to come with him now. Because my son-in-law and the girls have moved away. They used to come, so I came with him. Geneva, hard for me. It is hard. Geneva left three children and her husband and her loving parents. Thomas, you've been here every year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just came out. To, I had to come out today because I noticed the last time we'll be able to put flowers down for my daughter. And, uh, you know, I just had to come, you know, and um, I just hope the ceremony uh, goes smoothly. And we're going to we still, still miss her. You know, I still miss her very much. You know, it's still very hard. Tell me about Marissa. Tell me, you were on the train with her that morning. Oh, yeah, we rode the train together. The day before was her anniversary, and we was talking about what she did the night before and that kind of stuff and laughing and all that stuff. You know, we had a good time. You know, I didn't know that was going to be my last time seeing her. But um, we had a really good time that morning laughing, talking about what she did. She said she out danced her husband because they went out on that Saturday. She said, oh, I was dancing so much, I took off my shoes, and I was walking in the street, you know. So she had a good time that morning. Sounds like a beautiful girl. She is oh, yeah, a beautiful she was girl. Very good mother. All of them. She had three kids, you know, Tatiana, Imani, and Cyan. So they miss her, and I miss her so much. Thomas, for you to be part of this, sharing with other families, what is it like for you here? Oh, it's, it's uh, you know, makes you feel good to see everybody's out, you know, um, paying tribute, you know, and um, I think it's wonderful. You know, I'm glad to be here. You know, it's hard for me, but I had to come out, you know. After the 9-11 Commission and its findings, do you follow all of the, the news reports, that other side of this? Yeah, I've been following the reports, you know, um, I, it's hard to, you know, you know, to tell what's, you know, but, um, you know, I just have to wait. You know, I just have to deal with this. You know, I don't, I, you know I'm not into the politics of it, you know, but um, I just want to be here. To, you know, hope my daughter's watching us, you know, and we're thinking about her all the time, you know. We miss her very much. Thank you very much. And um, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. And so nice that you could be, as grandparents, so involved in her da your daughter's children's lives. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Eva and Thomas Dunbar, who lost their daughter, Larissa Taylor, who worked in one of the businesses. Uh, we'll send it back to you, Roz and Ernie. It's, it's different here. I've been here. This is my third year. You know, this being a Saturday, it does have a different feeling since it is not a work day. But one thing that is truly clear here, you feel the grief. Um, as people say, yes, we move on. We get on with our lives. But we talk to so many people here who are holding the photos. Um, the grief is right.
it's so real, whether you wear your heart on your sleeve or you're protected somehow, you never forget the people that you lost. Ross and Ernie? Dana, you're so right. You mentioned three years. We've all experienced this. and The emotions are really the same. In fact, in many ways, they are deeper as we see the faces and we talk to the families and get to know more about their own personal loss and their personal grief. Very true. Very, very true. Police and firefighters from across the city responded to the call at the Trade Center. Many were off-duty. Some were even retired. And one of the first fire companies to arrive was from Brooklyn Heights. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez is now with the firefighters of Engine 205, Ladder 118 this morning. And Hazel, I've spent quite a bit of time there. This is a very special firehouse and quite a story there, Hazel. Yeah, it certainly is, Ernie. The generous men and families of Engine Company 205, Ladder 118 were kind enough to let us join them this morning on this day of remembrance. As you know, they lost eight men on September 11th and on the anniversary of their death, the bravest are gathered here along with their families, as you can see this morning, for a breakfast to honor their brothers. They are still rebuilding their broken hearts while we watch the rebuilding at Ground Zero. Ground Zero is no longer a site without vision, no longer a blank canvas without the brush strokes of cement and stone. What terror took away is now being rebuilt with swift determination to prove lower Manhattan has not been defeated. I think it's a sign that we are moving forward. The starting point for rebuilding is 7 World Trade Center. North of the slurry wall, it already boasts 33 floors. The steel and glass skyscraper will eventually stand 52 stories, five stories taller than its predecessor. Tenants will start moving in by the end of next year. By 2009, 7 World Trade will be dwarfed by the Freedom Tower of winning designer Daniel Liebeskind. Its spire will reach 1,776 feet into the air, redefining Manhattan's skyline. The reaffirmation of life is reaffirmation of also building, and buildings bring optimism and bring something good to the city and, and bring back all the things that we dream about that were attacked, and, and we show to the world that we are here proud and, and better than before. The 16-acre master plan includes green space and cultural centers, and as promised to September 11th's victims' loved ones, the design will preserve part of the existing slurry wall and most of the tower footprints and will reserve an area for a memorial. On July 4th, Mayor Bloomberg and Governor Pataki dedicated the cornerstone of the Freedom Tower to honor and remember those who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001, and as a tribute to the enduring spirit of freedom. We'll send a message from this spot to people around the world. The cause of liberty can never be defeated. The winning memorial reflecting absence by Michael Arad and Peter Walker will honor all who died when terrorists attacked on 9-11 and in February 2003. Marking the Twin Towers' footprints, water will cascade down walls into a pair of reflecting pools submerged 30 feet below street level. Some victims' family members believe Governor Pataki, Port Authority, and the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation are not doing enough to keep the footprints sacred. We feel that if the remains of the footprints are not preserved, that this site will lose its historic significance over time. Now, what you're looking at now is a photo of Ladder 118 racing across the Brooklyn Bridge on September 11th. Now, all of the firefighters who are on board were on board, died that morning. And that actual photo now hangs in the kitchen of the firehouse here. Ladder 118 was completely destroyed when the towers came down. Now, if you take a look at the live picture now, this is Ladder 118, brand new, about two years old. It carries the names of the bravest who died from Ladder 118 and Engine Company 205, Captain Marty Egan, Lieutenant Robert Regan, Lieutenant Robert Wallace, Firefighter Vernon Cherry, Firefighter Leon Smith, Firefighter Joe Agnello, Firefighter Scott Davidson, and Firefighter Pete Vega. Many of their family members will be here this morning to watch the ceremony, the memorial ceremony on television, and then they will all jump on a subway and head down to Ground Zero to pay their respects. Uh, we will be here and speak to, to some of them later on uh, after the ceremony, and we will talk to them and bring it to you live. For now, we are live in Brooklyn Heights. I'm Hazel Sanchez. We'll send it back to you, Ross and Ernie. Yeah, Hazel, as I was saying, I have also spent some time there, and it's just interesting because they lost eight of their brothers yep. and when you talk to these people that are there today they just are so positive they're so upbeat about the personality and the character of these these lost heroes and uh, you know it's just so 
nice to be in an environment like that where you can remember them with such a feeling, such an emotion, and remember them as they, as they really still are in spirit today. If you're sitting at home watching our special coverage, you should know that there is a slight breeze and the intermittent sound of bagpipes coming from Ground Zero. If you have been with us over the last two years for the memorials, you know that the crowds have been larger. This crowd is not as large, but there's as much love and respect and remembrance down there today as the first time we gathered on this rooftop to look down and pay our respects. Yeah, you know, as we take a look, uh, you know, we see the the faces, and you, you think about how difficult it is to put into words just how one feels on this day. There are so many mixed emotions, feeling uh, the great personal loss, the countless families that you're seeing, their loved ones. And this, this spot that we call Ground Zero, it's just a, a, an empty reminder right now, still empty, of what happened here, uh, a horrific day, just three years ago, and the loss is just beyond words. Parents and grandparents will be reading the names of the 2,749 people who lost their lives at the World Trade Center. And as an anniversary's passed, there will be four pauses to mark the times that the planes struck the towers, 846 and 903, and then at 959 and 1029, the times that the towers fell respectively. Yeah, and uh, the families, of course, will be able to remain here up till about 4 o'clock. Uh, as you mentioned, Roz, as the names are read, families will descend into the lowest part of this site, and they will lay their flowers. And if you recall from the past, personal notes, little messages that are left behind, this is as close as they can get. And we know people who have lost families here, and you talk to them, and this is such a special day for them. Every day is important, but this is a very special one. And the ceremonies continue throughout the area. Here at sundown, the Tribute of Light, you remember those giant beams of light representing the Twin Towers? Well, they're going to be turned on again, once again, in memories of those who were lost as a symbol of the community's spirit. Well, of course, we, uh, we want to continue to bring you the coverage. Uh, there are so many different stories. We, we talk about the personal side of this. Uh, it is the same memory and the same uh, ceremony, but it is different every time because as each year passes, the memories of what happened here to the victims become very clear to us. And those of us who have covered this story were here after it happened. We know what we felt. These emotions belong to us, let's face it. And they belong to the families of the victims and to the millions of people everywhere in their own private way. Compiling a list of 9-11 victims and identifying their remains is a grim job, a job undertaken by those who sifted through the debris and by those who used investigative and technological tools. And because of their efforts, after three years, we have an accurate, uh, as accurate a death count as possible. CBS2 investigative reporter Cheryl Fiendaka has that story. Joel Guevara Eduardo Hernandez. Jimenez Molinas. At this year's September 11th ceremony, those names, along with dozens of others, will not be called. Now nearly three years after the attacks, the city has removed 43 names from the World Trade Center death toll. It is a very tough task. It takes a long time. You're dealing with body parts that are in a state of decay, uh, and some of them are minuscule. It becomes a nightmare for a forensic uh, analyst to actually get the identifications. And in some cases, there were no identifications to be made. No remains, no DNA, no evidence that the people reported missing existed or that they were ever at or near the World Trade Center. Investigators spent months trying to track down relatives, and so far, the city says, no family members have complained about their loved one's names being taken off the list. Oseni Garba. The medical examiner's office says among the 43 names may be some undocumented immigrants whose families have not come forward. After the attacks, nearly 7,000 people were reported missing to the city hotline and family centers. That number was significantly reduced in part because of duplicate names, people mistakenly reported missing, and fraudulent claims. A problem the Red Cross is still dealing with. We have uh, prosecuted, actually, and have convicted 103 people and have ongoing um, uh, investigations of still of about 480 people. The revised number of dead is now at 2,749, with DNA matches for about 60% of the victims. But there is hope 
for more when the technology will get so sensitive that even those parts that have been impossible to identify will succumb to the new testing. Which is why the medical examiner's office says it will continue to preserve evidence taken from the scene in the hopes that one day that evidence will provide scientists with the ability to identify more victims whose families are still waiting. Cheryl Fandaka, CBS 2 News. Joining us now is Senator Charles Schumer, and isn't it hard to believe that, first of all, three years have passed? What are your thoughts this morning? Well, you know, you look here, it, it's still a hole in the ground, and you think of all our losses and what we've gone through, and then you look over and see that beautiful yep. glass tower going yeah. up, and it's a metaphor for what we've lost and how we're coming back. Today's a great, you know, I think of the people who were lost every day. I wear this flag every day in my life in their memory. Um, but there's a day, you think of it every day, but you want a day of deep reflection. And that's what today is. It's no politics, it's nothing except thinking of what this all means and of powers a lot greater than us. Senator, you also have been in touch with many of the families, and you were telling us that they have a hotel room here. And yeah, no, they have a, in their it's own a room in One Liberty, yeah. and it's a room dedicated to each victim, and you can see, of course, it's up in that tower there, and you can see right into the site. And I was with some of the families yesterday, privately, just talking and thinking. And from there, I went over to Maiden Lane. Uh, there's a, there was a flower shop here called Flowers for the World, gone, just opened up again on Maiden Lane. So again, it's the same thing, the loss, yes. and then the rebuilding. We go on from that loss. I'll tell you one interesting thing. There's, there was a firefighter who was lost, and his brothers have a race every year to raise money for charity. And they were asking me if I was coming this year, which I am and it poured last year and they said their brother was in heaven laughing at all the rain that was coming down on everyone so many stories aren't so there? many personal they stories will be with like us that forever that they've yeah. changed us forever we move forward we never forget senator thank schumer thank you very thank much you for being us. with Thanks, us sharing senator. your thoughts thank you and now we're now going to uh, st paul's we are we're going to st paul's chapel which uh, over these past three years of course has served as an unofficial memorial to the victims of september the 11th maurice dubois has spent the morning there maurice thanks uh Roz and ernie we're here at the corner of broadway and fulton and since we last spoke with you it was almost like somebody flipped a switch and suddenly thousands of people have been streaming past us making their way down to ground zero which is only a block away a number of them are stopping in at st paul's right there behind us and going in for memorial service at begins oh in about 10 or 15 minutes for now it's going to last a couple of hours it's going to kind of coincide with what goes on at ground zero this morning but st paul's is a special chapel here in new york city it goes back to the days of george washington he worshiped here shortly after his inauguration and thereafter as well and it's lasted uh, through the city's fires and and through all sorts of different uh, tumultuous times but three years ago today it assumed a very special place in our nation's history it's now known as the little chapel that stood. On September 11, 2001, fire and steel rained down on Manhattan's oldest public building. Seven other buildings were destroyed in the debris, but St. Paul's Chapel, only 100 yards away, withstood the pounding. A sycamore tree planted right here is credited with saving the chapel. A lot of people say it's a miracle, and because we're a chapel and we live with miracles every day, we definitely think that it was a miracle it was preserved. In the days and months following 9-11, St. Paul's evolved into a place of healing, both physically and spiritually. Inside, exhausted and emotionally drained rescue workers rested on these pews, while outside, family, friends, and countless strangers remembered loved ones. Many mourners brought flowers, candles, and messages to the chapel's iron gate. Hundreds of those artifacts can be seen inside the chapel today. For many people, it was a way of them really finding meaning in that horrible event. They would come inside the chapel, and it was safe. It was filled with love. It was filled with caring. St. Paul's remained closed to the public for a year after the terrorist attack. But when it reopened, the chapel became the most tangible 9-11 monument around the World Trade Center site. Since then, more than a million visitors have walked through St. Paul's, and they come from all over the world. Mary Sandusky is from Ontario, Canada. Oh, this is the most important thing we came to see. Today, the chapel continues reaching out to the public, connecting with people. And church directors understand, until a permanent memorial is built, St. Paul's Chapel gives people a place to pay their respects, reflect, and come together. 
the story of St. Paul's is the response to 9-11. It's how people responded. And it's an inspiring message because what it says is you can go back in your community and you can make a difference. By the way, they're saving the stump of that uh, sycamore tree and they're preserving it with a bronze replica in the back of St. Paul's. For the most part, people here are solemn and respectful and uh, they're making their way inside the chapel as well as to Ground Zero just down the street here. So, Rosemary, let's send it back up to you. Thank you very much, Maurice. And now we're going to take a moment to check out some of the stories that are making news this day. Linda Lopez, Reed Lamberty are back at the broadcast center. Back to you. Thanks, Roz and Ernie. Two of New York's finest were killed in the line of duty after a shootout in Brooklyn. It happened in the East Flatbush section as the veteran detectives responded to a domestic violence dispute. CBS News' Arthur Chan joins us live now from Brookdale Hos Hospital. Arthur, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Reed. Not like good morning. We really didn't need a reminder of how difficult and dangerous life is for those who don uniforms on behalf of the city, but we certainly have that this morning. Overnight, several officers have been showing up here at Brookdale Hospital. Two police detectives shot breaking a responding to a domestic disturbance call. These officers this morning coping with the loss of two of their brothers. Tonight it is my solemn duty to report to the people of the city of New York that we have just lost two of our finest. Police say the call came into the 67th precinct late last night. Marlon Laguerre was menacing his mother at her home. Detectives familiar with the suspect from past domestic calls raced against traffic. Laguerre was on the street when they arrived. When they approached, he pulled a gun. Shots were fired, leaving both of the detectives and Legere wounded. Both detectives were shot in the chest. Neither were wearing vests. Legere carjacked a minivan and fled. Twelve blocks later, he pulled over and ran into a building. Shot in both legs, police moved in. It was the detectives he shot who left this photo of him on their dashboard to lead police to his capture. Legere was captured in a third floor hallway uh, of 662 Brooklyn Avenue next door to where the carjack vehicle was abandoned. The officers are the first to be shot and killed in the line of duty since last March when two undercover detectives were shot on Staten Island during a sting operation against drug dealers. As for last night, one detective was a 22-year veteran of the police department. The other had been on the job 15 years and leaves three children behind. The fact that these brave men were taken from us just hours before we will honor 23 fallen heroes from the World Trade Center, police officers who died saving lives there. It's a cruel reminder of the dangers our police officers face every day. Recently, the Court of Appeals had deemed the uh, death penalty unconstitutional. And I make an appeal to our legislative leaders up in, in Albany to let's get the, the death penalty uh, language rewritten and let's get it back on the books. It's guaranteed to be, de uh, guaranteed to be a deterrent, and we need it. Laguerre does have an, an, an extensive criminal history. He has been arrested at least nine times in the last 12 years. Charges range from drug charges to assault charges. This is a story we'll be following throughout today, but for now we go back to you. Reed, Linda. All right, Arthur, thank you so much. Meantime, another story we're following this morning, Hurricane Ivan. It slammed into Jamaica just a short time ago, but forecasters say it's not as bad as first thought. Huge waves, powerful winds, and torrential rain battered the Caribbean island overnight, uprooting trees and tearing down power lines. The Category 4 storm wobbled to the west, sparing the island from the storm's strongest winds. And the Florida Keys are being described as a ghost town. More than 75,000 ordered to evacuate as Ivan chews its way towards Florida. Many residents put up shutters and boarded windows with plywood. The storm is expected to hit Florida by Monday. Now for the very latest on Ivan, here's meteorologist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff? Reed, by looking at the satellite, you can see that the storm did, in fact, go just to the south of Jamaica. Not the whole storm, but the center, the core, the eye of the storm. This is no coincidence. The storm can feel land. It feels the friction. And because there's no strong steering winds in the atmosphere, it just goes where it wants to go. So notice it parallels the coast and then takes a little jog to the northwest, right where the coastline takes a jog to the northwest. This happens every once in a while, and it spared Jamaica of the brunt of the storm. But still, 
The 120 mile an hour winds did make it to shore right here on the south end. So no doubt there's going to be some destruction in Jamaica, but luckily not as bad as it could have been. All right, the latest stats as of 8 o'clock on Hurricane Ivan. Winds 150 miles an hour. It's moving back to the west-northwest now at 10 miles an hour. Here's the state of Florida, and there is Cuba, and we expect it to take a turn towards the north, towards Cuba, and eventually towards the state of Florida. Could strengthen right here. Very, uh, very warm water just to the south of Cuba, and then warm water to the north of Cuba right here in the Florida Straits. It'll weaken just a bit over this very narrow part of Cuba. Move to the west of Tampa, or perhaps Tampa, Sarasota area, and if not, it'll probably go even further west into the panhandle around St. Mark's, Tallahassee, maybe Panama City. So we'll watch closely the west coast of Florida and also up into the panhandle as we head into, let's say, uh, Tuesday and again on Wednesday. The key's still not uh, totally dodging that bullet. It's still possible that the Keys could see the brunt of the storm. We'll see. But in our forecast, we're talking gorgeous weather this weekend. Sunshine today and tomorrow. Temperatures in the 70s. Still nice on Monday. Maybe some showers by midweek. Linda Reed. All right, Jeff. Thank you so much. And that'll do it right now from the Broadcast Center. I'm Reed Lamberty. And I'm Linda Lopez. Now back to Roz and Ernie in the third anniversary memorial ceremony at Ground Zero. Thank you, Linda and Reed. The sun, sand, and sea of Long Island seemed like a natural location for a memorial to residents lost at the World Trade Center. And this year, friends and family are remembering their loved ones in a very unique way. CBS 2 Long Island reporter Jennifer McLogan joins us live from Point Lookout with that story. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning from Point Lookout, Long Island, where we have witnessed a truly spectacular sunrise this morning during an open-air memorial program hosted by the town of Hempstead. It will include here uh, beachfront ceremonies. You can see in the distance some twin tower sculptures. There will soon be tossing white carnations into the water water with remarks from family members of 9-11 victims and a silent vigil here by the waters of the Atlantic. Under a breathtaking sky of glowing colors, award-winning artists chosen to create an imposing monument were putting the finishing touches on a 4,000-pound, 15-foot-high ice sculpture, a backdrop for Long Island's largest vigil, standing before the mighty waters of the Atlantic. Family members here articulating the need for remembrance and recovery. I think they'll feel closer to this memorial. Not many people get into Ground Zero or into that or probably won't get into Manhattan anymore. They like to stay away from it. So this will bring more people that we know personally. Among the thousands attending are families from Babylon in Suffolk County. That town alone lost 48 souls in the attack. Their loved ones broke ground on a permanent 9-11 monument that will be built this year and dedicated on 9-11 next year at Cedar Beach. One town official there revealed that later today her daughter will marry a New York City police officer. She met him on September 11th, and they say they're trying to turn a dismal day into something positive. Laura did have second thoughts, and she went to Michael, and Michael said, no, all of the, all of the guys I work with, all of the cops I work with, said they were happy to be able to do something happy on that day. And a Merrick family, too, is trying to turn the corner. Firefighter Ronnie Geis' son, Tommy, also FDNY, and valedictorian of his fire academy class will today throw out the first pitch at Shea Stadium in honor of his dad. I'm just going to get up there and throw a strike. <laughs> Such love being generated here, comforting touches, hugging and holding, and soon those carnations will be tossed into the water, and these flags are being distributed. Uh, family members are writing the names of their loved ones here, and they'll place all these at the base of that ice sculpture that's up on the water. We are reporting live from Point Lookout, Long Island. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Thank you, Jennifer. Of course, many of the communities across the tri-state area, they know the pain of waiting for loved ones who never came home on September the 11th. Middletown, New Jersey is one of them. CBS 2's Christine Sloan joins us live from Middletown with that story. Christine. Ross, 37 Middletown residents were killed in the World Trade Center attacks. And for many of them, the train station that sits right across from where I'm standing was the last place they saw right before heading to work on that tragic day. And that is why this memorial garden was built here right next to the train station. Now, the garden is overwhelming. There are 37 granite markers with the portraits of the victims etched onto them. They sit along a winding brick pathway, and each marker has a personal message 
message for the family members who have no graves to go to. This peaceful garden dedicated to the victims last year has been the only place they can come to reflect and to remember their loved ones. Uh, joining us live is Chief John Pollinger with the Middletown Police Department. Thank you uh, for joining us this morning. morning. I know that you have been very close to many of the families. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, ceremony today and what will be happening here? Again, it's a, uh, it's a it's an official recognition of, of three years ago, the day that uh, all of us have in our heart each and every every waking moment, and this is a reflection of, of an official tribute to the, the lives that, uh, that people led and, and, uh, and the con contributions they made to Middletown Township. Can you tell us a little bit about how this memorial was built? I know a lot of people volunteered their time. There were there were family members and a committee was formed uh, to to create this through uh, private donations and, and an acknowledgement of that is is uh, to our to our rear and uh, it's it's just a wonderful place and a wonderful place to reflect uh, for the families that were lost. Okay, Chief, thank you so much. We will be here at 8:46 when the uh, ceremony begins here. That is a story out here live in Middletown. Christine Sloan, CBS. Two news back to you Christine thanks for bringing this to us for many of the victims families this and every anniversary renews their pain Dana Tyler is joining us once again from the corner of Liberty and Church with an emotional update from a woman who was pregnant on 9-11 and lost her husband in the towers Dana Ernie and Roz, Jenna and Ari Jacobs had everything going for them. They were about to expect their first baby, and then that tragic day. Jenna is now the mother of a bouncy toddler who she says looks just like his dad. Yes, life is good, but she says it's about coping with her loss one day at a time. I feel obligated to just smile and be happy and say, oh yeah, I'm fine, things are great. And in some ways, of course, things are great. It's just not the whole story. I first met Jenna a year ago at her home with the Women of September Smiles, an organization she founded with other pregnant widows of September 11th. With just days before giving birth to her son, Gabby, Jenna's husband, Ariel, was killed during a breakfast meeting at Windows on the World. I often have just a really hard time coping and, I guess, integrating my expectations about what my life would have been with what it what it is now. Jenna remarried this past March. Gabby now has a six-year-old stepsister, and Jenna's expecting a baby next spring. She says her husband couldn't be more supportive. Chad is a very understanding man. Um, he uh, he lets me grieve, and he laughs with me when I feel like laughing too. I'll never have a second chance with my first husband. But I do have a second chance with Chad to have a husband and be in love and have a family. Like so many other families who lost loved ones in the tragedy, Jenna still suffers from the trauma of that September morning. Most people don't get to see the panic attacks that I have in the middle of the night. The crying in my husband's arms about a different husband. Gazing into Gabby's eyes, Jenna vows to keep his father's memory alive. He can talk about it and say, Daddy Ari's in heaven, but he doesn't really understand because Chad is his daddy. Ari lives for Gabby through my memories. And how would Ari feel about his son's life? I would imagine that he mourns as I do, that he doesn't get to help make him happy, at least not in any visible way. Despite finding new happiness, Jenna dismisses the notion that she's moved on. I think the term moving on undermines the relevance of a person's history, mine or anyone else's. We thank Jenna for her candor. She's not here today. She had a luncheon with other survivors people who lost loved ones on September 11th. Uh, behind me here, Church and Liberty, you can see more and more people who come here. New Yorkers, of course, here every day. Uh, this is a very busy part of our city. But today, on a Saturday, people making a special trip to... Uh, it also not only shows you flowers and photos, photos of people who died. You see the history of the World Trade Center when it was first built. 1972, so a real chronology of what has happened here as you look down into the foundation of what once was those two sparkling towers. Um, as far as how people's lives have changed, a New York Times survey recently said at least almost half 
of the survivors, family members, still have a hard time getting a good night's sleep. A few said they don't fly on airplanes anymore. About a third have changed their jobs or quit. About one in five have moved since 2001. And a fifth of those still live where they did live on September 11th. And few have remarried. Um, Another thing I just want to tell you, Roz and Ernie, of people who are here today, we've seen tourists here today who have made a special point of being here. I spoke with a nurse from Minnesota, Diane, an operating room nurse. She said, I had to be here on the third anniversary. We all have to come down here. We cannot forget those who died on September 11, 2001. Roz, Ernie, back to you. Thank you, Dana. That nurse echoes the feelings of yes. everyone here today, those who are here, those who are watching, and many people everywhere. We know that thousands of people come here every day you know with their families to reflect and to to remember what happened here and never to forget that before you go on I just want yep. to alert the people at home we expect the ceremony to begin any moment now right. so stay with us because it it is about to begin As soon as it begins we will bring that to yes. you of course we have to tell you that three years after the attack on America the number of victims is still growing some people who worked at the site clearing debris are experiencing serious health problems CBS 2's Dr. David Marks is here with more David yep. can we begin with a quick review of what some of those health problems are sure the Mount Sinai School of Medicine just did a study looking at people eight months after the attacks and these are first responders volunteers and people who helped in the cleanup a lot of them are suffering from respiratory problems wheezing asthma difficulty breathing other people have musculoskeletal problems it was a lot of hard work out there and so they've had rotator cuff tears knee injuries but the big thing really right now is the lung issue a lot of what people, is the a lot risk of people of cancer well from asbestos? cancer the risk of cancer from asbestos of course is increased however there's no evidence that people who worked down there right after 9-11 have an increased risk of cancer because it wasn't a prolonged exposure in general the danger is that only 20 percent of the people who f responded first used masks so 80 percent of people didn't have anything protecting their airways and so they did breathe in rubble and asbestos and, and all sorts of toxic chemicals so we're going to see over time how this plays out put a number on it how many people how widespread is the problem well there is no number right now we don't know and because it's it was only eight month study but there were thousands of people really who were in the area and this didn't even look at the people living in the area Area. just look at first responders it didn't even look at firefighters so we, we don't have a full accounting really for the medical problems yet you said you refer to this as the lung issue and what they breathed in what specifically have been the negative effects of on the lungs there have been a lot of people with difficulty breathing with persistent asthma coughing sinus issues sinus problems um, headaches the, the sinuses of course are connected to the airway so it, it, it affects the whole system and people this is three years later and people are still having symptoms so th this is going to be something we're going to be dealing with for a long time to come hopefully cancer will not be an issue but it's really it's too soon to tell but the experts say that it probably won't be an issue in the long run but we don't know thank you very much dr david marks the ceremony is uh, just about to get underway we are going to go live to that right now we'll continue to bring you this coverage throughout the morning and just stay with cbs2 
moments ago. We will never forget that each person was someone's son or daughter. On behalf of all their parents, we have asked parents and grandparents who lost a child to lead today's ceremony. At this time, please join us and all New Yorkers in a moment of silence. It has been said that a child who loses a parent is an orphan. A man who loses his wife is a widower. A woman who loses her husband is a widow. There is no name for a parent who loses a child, for there are no words to describe this pain. There's a room near here, the site, just a few yards away, called the family room. Families have been invited to come there, to be alone with their grief and their memories, to leave a picture or a keepsake of the loved ones, and to write down what is in their hearts. Today, we've invited some of those parents and grandparents to share their feelings with us. All the words you will hear will come either from them or from what has been written over the ages to give expression to their grief and comfort to their loss. My name is Mike Lowe. My daughter was Sarah Elizabeth Lowe, and she was a flight attendant on American Airlines Flight 11. On October the 28th, 2001, my wife Bobby and I came to the first memorial here at Ground Zero. The towers, ruins were still smoldering, and after that painful ceremony, I scribbled the lines. Dreams burn away as the morning mist in the heat of fate's resolve. We have left those lines in the back of a tribute booklet in the family room. And we've been back to that family room many times since. When I go into the room and look all around at the photographs of the smiling faces of the young, beautiful, talented lives that were lost, their promises unfulfilled, their dreams burn away. I think of a line from a 9-11 poem by an American Airlines pilot that simply states, my God, what a wrenching loss. Over 2,000 years ago, when King David was told of the death of his son, he spoke the words that surely every parent today can understand. The king went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, thus he said, O oh my son, Absalom, my son, my son, Absalom, would I have died for thee, O oh Absalom, my son, my son. We have asked the parents and grandparents to read the names of those who have died.
Abad, Maria Rose Abad, Andrew Anthony Abate, Vincent Abate, Lawrence Christopher Abel, Alona Abraham, William F. Abrahamson, Richard Anthony Achetto, Heinrich Bernard Ackerman, Paul Andrew Aquaviva, Donald Laroy Adams, Patrick Adams, Shannon Lewis Adams, Stephen George Adams, Ignatius Udo Adanga, Christy A. Adamo, Terence E. Adderley Jr., Sophia B. Ado, Lee Adler, Daniel Thomas Afflito, Emmanuel Akwazi Afakwa, Alok Agawald, Makul Kumar Agawala, Joseph Agnello, David Scott Agnes, Jean Alberto Dalfonsec Aguilar, Brian G. A. Hearn, and my son, Paul Andrew Aquaviva. And my son, Christopher Allingham. We miss you, Chris. We miss you, Paul. Jeremiah Joseph A. Hearn. Joanne Marie Aladiotis. Shabir Ahmed. Soren Andre Aiken. Godwin Ajala. Gertrude M. Alaguerro, Andrew Alamino, Margaret N. Alario, Gary M. Albero, John Leslie Albert, Peter Craig Alderman, Jacqueline Delane Ulrich, David D. Alger, Ernest Alicacos, Edward L. Alvagretto, Eric Allen, Joseph Ryan Allen, Richard Dennis Allen, Richard L. Allen, Christopher E. Hallihan, Anna Allison, Janet M. Alonso, Anthony Alvarado, Antonio Javier Alvarez, Victoria Alvarez Rito, Thelmo E. Alvear, Cesar Amaranto Alvear, Tariq Emanuel, and my son Peter Paul Apollo. We love you. We miss you. And my dearest and lovely son, Kenneth P. Lira Arevalo, we deeply miss you. Angelo Amaranto, James M. Amato, Joseph Amatucho, Christopher Charles Amaroso, Casuido Anai, Calixto Anaya Jr., Joseph Anchundia, Kermit Charles Anderson, Yvette Constance Anderson, John Andriacchio, Michael Walk Andrews, Jean Ann Andruki, Sui Nia Ang, Joseph John Angelini Jr., Joseph Angelini Sr., David Lawrence Angel, Laura Angeletta, Doreen J. Angresani, Lauren Antigua, Seima David Ayama, Peter Paul Apollo, Faustino Apostol Jr., 
Josue Thomas Aquilino, Patrick Michael Aranios, David Gregory Ars, Michael George Arzinski, Luis Arena, Barbara Jean Arastegui, and my son Gerard Baptiste, and my daughter Bella J. Bukan. Love you. I love you. Adam P. Arias, Michael Armstrong, Jack Charles Aaron, Joshua Aaron, Richard Avery Arono, Myra Joy Aronson, Jaffet Jesse Arai, Carl Francis Asaro, Michael Aschek, Michael Edward Asher, Janice Marie Ashley, Thomas J. Ashton, Manuel O. Asatimbe, Greg Arthur Atlas, Gerald Thomas Atwood, James Audifred, Louis Frank Abrazzano Jr., Ezra Avilez, Sandy Ayala, Arlene T. Bapakiti, Eustace P. Bacchus, John J. Badigliaga, Jane Ellen Basler, Robert J. Bearwalter, Andrew J. Bailey, Brett T. Bailey, Garner Edward Bailey, Tatiana Bakalinskaya, and my son, Thomas Harold Bowden, Jr., and my daughter, Veronique Nicole Bowers. Thank you. Michael Andrew Bain. Catherine Bantiste. Gerald Baptiste. Walter Baran. Gerald A. Barbera. Paul Vincent Barbera. With James William Barbella. Ivan Krillos F. Barbosa. Victor Daniel Barbosa. Christine Barbudo. Colleen Ann Barco. David Michael Barkway. Matthew Barnes. Sheila Patricia Barnes. Ivan J. Barron. Renee Barrett Arjun. Arthur Theodotus Barry. Diane G. Barry. Maurice Vincent Barry. Scott D. Bart. Carlton W. Bartels. Gee Bosby. Ina B. Bassin. Alicia Bosmarshan. Kenneth William Barsnicki. Stephen Joseph Bates. And my son, Tyrone May. And my daughter, my beautiful daughter, Lucy Fishman. I love you. We made it. Step back with me, please. Okay. Step back with me. Come on.
name is Nancy Brandamarty. My son, Nick, worked on the 89th floor of Tower 2. We left him this poem at the Family Center because, Nikki, it describes how much we miss you. Remembering you is easy. We do it every day. It's the heartache of losing you that never goes away. We thought of you with love today, but that is nothing new. We thought about you yesterday and the day before that too. Your memory is our keepsake with which we will never part. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our hearts. Our hearts still ache in sadness. Our secret tears will flow. What it meant to lose you, no one will ever know. All our love, Mom, Dad, Nicole, and Jay. Even after the victories of World War II, Dwight Eisenhower, who saw too many young sons die, wrote, there's no tragedy in life like the death of a child. Things never get back to the way they were. On the wall of the family room, a woman who lost her son put his picture on the wall and wrote beside it, to the world, he may have been just one person, but to me, he was the world. In one of the scrapbooks that sits on a table nearby, another mother wrote this poem and inscribed it to her daughter. If tears could bring you back to me, you'd be here by my side. 
for God could fill a river full with all the tears I've cried. If I could have one wish come true, I'd ask of God in prayer to let me have just one more day to show how much I care. If love could reach to heaven sure, I'd quickly come to you. My heart would build a bridge of love, one wide enough for two. To the parents and grandparents and families of our heroes, God bless you. We will never forget. Paul Jans Battaglia. W. David Bauer, Jr. Marlin Capito Bautista. Mark Lauren Bevy. Jasper Baxter. Michel Yell. Paul Frederick Beatini. Jane S. Beatti. Lawrence Ira Beck. Manette Marie Beckels. Carl John Bejan. Michael Ernest Beckman. Maria Herbert. Yelena Belilowski. Nina Patrice Bell. Debbie S. Bellow. Stephen Elliot Belson. Paul M. Benedetti. Denise Leonard Benedetto. Brian Craig Bennett. Eric L. Bennett. Oliver Token Bennett. Margaret L. Benson. Dominic G. Berardi. James Patrick Berger. Stephen Howard Berger. John P. Bergen. Elvin Bergson. And our son Patrice Bro. I'd like to see to, to I love you. My My son Patrice Bro. Patrice ti amo. La mamma ti amerà in eterno. Sarai sempre nel nostro cuore. Daniel Bergstein. Graham Andrew Berkeley. Michael J. Berkeley. Donna M. Bernard. David W. Bernard. William Bernstein. David M. Beret. David S. Berry. Joseph J. Berry. William Reed Betke. Timothy Betterly. Paul Michael Bayard. We skip the name. Okay. Right. Edward Frank Bayer. Bella J. Buckhan. Anil Talaram Baharani. Peter Alexander Bilefeld. We skip the names. Yeah. Jimmy D. Begelstlayson. Brian Eugene no. Belcher. No, William J. Bigart. Gary Eugene oh. Burry. <laughs> Carol Carl Vincent Beeney. George John Bishop. Mm -hmm. Joshua David Birnbaum. Albert Valua Blackman Jr. <laughs> Jeffrey Donald Bittner. Susan Lee Blair. Uh -oh. Christopher Joseph Blackwell. And, and our, our loving son, son Paul Ronald Marshall, Paul Ronald Paul Booker. Booker. I'm going to do a skip a lot of names. Okay, it's us. Okay. Harry Blanding, Blanding Jr. Janice Lee Blaney. Craig Michael Blass. Rita Blau. Richard Middleton Blood, Jr. Michael Andrew Bocardi. John P. Bocchi. Michael Leopoldo Boccino. Susan M. Boccino. 
Bruce D. Bowen. Mary Catherine Bofa. Nicholas Andrew Bogdan. Darren Christopher Bohan. Lawrence Francis Bosso. Vincent M. Boland, Jr. Turi Amslavi Baruki. Alan Bandarenko. Andre Bonner, Jr. Colin Arthur Bonnet. Frank Bonomo. Ivan Lucia Bonomo. Sean Booker. Kelly Ann Booms. Sherry Ann Bordeaux. Christine Bordenabi. Martin Borseski. Richard Edward Bosco. Claus Bouthe. And, and our, our son, son firefighter, firefighter Gregory, Gregory Joseph. Joseph Buck. Buck. Engine Company 201, Brooklyn. We love you. We love you. God bless America. Carol Marie Bashad. John H. Bolton. Francisco Alicia Bourdais. Thomas Harold Bowden, Jr. Kimberly S. Bowers. Veronique Nicole Bowers. Larry Bowman. Sean Edward Bowman, Jr. Kevin L. Bowsner. Gary R. Box. Genevieve Boyaski. Pamela Boyce. Michael Borrell. Alfred Bracker. Kevin U. Bracken. David Brian Brady. Alexander Braginski. Nicholas W. Brandy Marty. Daniel Raymond Branhoist. David Reed Gamboa Branhoist. Michelle Renee Bratton. Patrice Brout. Lydia E. Bravo. Ronald Michael Breitweiser. Francis Henry Brennan. Michael E. Brennan. Peter Brennan. Thomas M. Brennan. And, and our, our son, son Dennis, Dennis Buckley, Buckley, who we love very much. Love you, Dennis. Edward A. Brennan III. Daniel J. Brethel. Gary Lee Bright. Jonathan Briley. Mark A. Brisman. Paul Gary Bristow. Mark Francis Broderick. Herman Charles Broghammer. Keith A. Broomfield. Janice Julius Brown. Lloyd Stanford Brown. Patrick J. Brown. Bettina Brown. Mark Bruce. Richard George Bruhert. Andrew Brunn. Vincent Edward Brunton. Ronald Paul Buka. Brandon J. Buchanan. Gregory Joseph Buck. Dennis Buckley. Nancy Claire Boucher. Patrick Joseph Boucher. John Edwards Bulaga, Jr. Stephen Bunin. Matthew J. Burke. Thomas Daniel Burke. William Francis Burke, Jr. And our son, Matthew Joseph Burke. Love you, man. Donald J. Burns. Kathleen Ann Burns. Keith James Burns. John Patrick Burnside. Irina Buslow. Milton G. Eustilio. Firefighter Thomas M. Butler. Patrick Dennis Byrne. Timothy G. Byrne. Jesus Natali Cabezas. Lillian Caceres. Brian Joseph Cachilla. Stephen Dennis Cafiero, Jr. Richard M. Caggiano. Cecile Marella Caguigla. John Brett Cahill. Michael John Cahill. 
Scott Walter Cahill, Thomas Joseph Cahill, George Kane, Salvatore B. Calabro, Joseph M. Calendrillo, Philip V. Calcagno, Edward Calderon, Kenneth Marcus Caldwell, Dominique Enrico Calilla, Felix Calixte, Francis Joseph Callahan, and my son, firefighter George Kane. We love you, Georgie. We miss you. And my son, Kenneth Marcus Caldwell. I love you, Kenny Winnie. Liam Callahan. Luigi Calvi. Rocco Camage. Michael F. Camarada. David Adi Campbell. Jeffrey Thomas Campbell. Jill Marie Campbell. Robert Arthur Campbell. Sandra Patricia Campbell. Sean Thomas Canavan. John A. Candela. Vincent Cangelosi. Stephen J. Cangelosi. Lisa Bella Canava. Brian Canazaro. Michael Canty. Louis Anthony Caparisi. Jonathan Neff Capello. James Christopher Cappers. Richard Michael Caproni. Jose Manuel Cardona. Dennis M. Carey. Edward Carlino. Michael Scott Carlo. David G. Carlone. Rosemary C. Carlson. Mark Stephen Cardney. Joyce N. Carpinetto. And our son, Richard Michael Caproni. We miss you and love you. Yvonne Louis Carpio Bautista. Jeremy M. Carrington. Michael Carroll. Peter Carroll. James Joseph Carson, Jr. Christopher Michael Carstingen. Marcia Cecil Carter. James Marcel Cartier. Vivian Castle Duke. John Francis Casaza. Paul R. Casho. Neely Ann Heffernan Casey. Thomas Anthony Casorio. William Otto Caspar. Alejandro Castano. Arcelia Castillo. Leonard M. Castriano. Jose Ramon Castro. Richard G. Cotterelli. Christopher Sean Caton. Robert John Caulfield. Mary Teresa Caulfield. Justin Cavalier. Michael Joseph Cawley. Jason David Kane. Juan Armando Ceballos. Jason Michael Cephalou. Thomas Joseph Felix. And my son, John Edward Balaga Jr. I love you. And my son, Kevin Nathaniel Colbert. Kevin, your brothers and I love you and miss you very much. Anna Mercedes Centeno. Johnny Sesto. Jeffrey Mark Chernoff. Swana Chalasani. William Chalkov.
Kelly Chalu. Charles Lawrence Chan. Mandy Chang. Mark Lawrence Charette. Gregorio Manuel Chavez. Delarose E. Cheatham. Pedro Francisco Checo. Douglas McMillan Cherry. Stephen Patrick Cherry. Vernon Paul Cherry. Nesta Chavalier. Swede Chavalier. Alexander H. Chang. Dorothy J. Chiacharo. Luis Alfonso Chimbo. Robert Chen. Wing Hua Ching. Nicholas Paul Chiafalo. John Gerard Chirupa. Peter A. Chichirio. Catherine Chills. Kiyang He Cho. Abdul K. Chowdre. And my beloved son, Christopher Chaffadini. And my daughter, Patricia Ann Simaroli Maseri. We love you and we miss you. Mohammed Houdinini Chowdhury. Kirsten L. Christoph. Pamela Shu. Stephen Paul Chucknick. Wai Chung. Christopher Chaffardini. Alex F. Giacchini, Francis Ann Chilente, Elaine Chillo, Edna Cintron, Natra Andrea Centron III, Robert Dominic Cherry, Juan Pablo Cisnero, Benjamin Keith Clark, Eugene Clark, Gregory Allen Clark, Manny Leroy Clark, Thomas R. Clark, Christopher Robert Clark, Donna Marie Clark, Michael J. Clark, Surya Rachel Emma Clark, Kevin Francis Cleary, James D. Clear, Joppa W. Cloud, Susan Marie Klein, Stephen Coakley, Jeffrey Allen Cole, and my son, Benjamin Keith Clark. We love you, Keith, and we miss you. And my son, Firefighter Squad One, Gary Richard Box. Patricia A. Cody. Daniel Michael Coffey. Jason M. Coffey. Florence G. Cohen. Kevin Sanford Cohen. Anthony Joseph Colladonato. Mark Joseph Calayo. Stephen Calayo. Christopher M. Colasanti. Kevin Nathaniel Colbert. Scott Thomas Coleman. Keith E. Coleman. Liam Joseph Colhoun. Carol Coleman. Robert J. Cole. Robert D. Colon. John Michael Collins. Jean Maria Colon. Tommy J. Collins. Michael L. Collins. Jeffrey Dwayne Coleman. Joseph K. Collison. Linda M. Cologne. Patricia Malaya Colondon. Ronald Edward Comer. Soul E. Colon. And my precious son, Christopher Robert Clark. You are well missed, Bubba. Sandra Jolene Canati Brace. And my beautiful stepdaughter, Ruth Magdalene McCourt. And her daughter, Juliana Valentine McCourt. Jaime Concepcion. 
Denise, Albert Conley. Denise Conley. Susan B. Conlon. Margaret Mary Connor. Cynthia Marie Lise Connolly. John E. Connolly, Jr. James Lee Connor. Jonathan M. Connors. Kevin Patrick Connors. Kevin F. Conroy. Brenda E. Conway. Dennis Michael Cook. Helen D. Cook. Jeffrey W. Coombs. John A. Cooper. Joseph John Coppo, Jr. Gerard J. Coppola. Joseph Albert Corbett. John J. Cochran III. Alejandro Cordero. Robert Joseph Cordes. Ruben de Correa. Danny A. Correa Guterres. James J. Corrigan. Carlos Cortez. Kevin Cosgrove. Dolores Maria Coste. And our two sons, Keith Eugene Coleman and Scott Thomas Coleman. Digna Alexandra Costanza. Michael S. Costello. Charles Gregory Costello, Jr. Conrad K. Catoy. Martin John Kuglan. John Gerard Coglin. Timothy J. Kuglin. James E. Cove. Andre Cox. Frederick John Cox. James Raymond Coyle. Michelle Coyle Elay. Anne Marie Kramer. Christopher Seaton Kramer. Denise Elizabeth Grant. Robert James Crawford. James Leslie Crawford, Jr. Tara Kathleen Kramer. Joanne Mary Cregan. Lucy Crofassi. John A. Krishi. Dan Hal Chrisman. Dennis Cross. Kevin Raymond Crotty. Thomas G. Crotty. John Crow. Wells Remy Crowther. Robert L. Kershank. And my lovely son, Danny Alexander Correa Gutierrez. We love you and we miss you so, so much. And my son, firefighter, James Raymond Coyle. We love you, we miss you. John Robert Cruz. Grace Yu Kwa. Kenneth John Cubas. Francisco Cruz Cubero. Helma Cucinero. Richard J. Cudina. Neil James Cudmore. Thomas Patrick Cullen III. Joyce Cummings. Brian Thomas Cummins. Michael Joseph Cunningham. Robert Curatolo. Lawrence Damien Curia. Paul Dario Curioli. Patrick Joseph Curavan. Andrew Peter Charles Curry Green. Beverly Curry. Michael Sean Curtin. Gavin Kushney. Manuel John DeMota. Caleb Aaron Dack. Carlos S. Da Costa. Brian Paul Dale. John DeLaura. Vincent Gerard D'Amadeo. Thomas A. Damaskinos. Jack D'Ambrosi. Janine Marie Damiani Jones. And my grandson, Christopher Santoro. And my son, firefighter Michael Dominic Dioria. You're the light of my life, Michael. Patrick W. Danahay. Mary D'Antonio.
Castillo, Vincent Dance, Dwight Donald Darcy, Elizabeth Ann Darling, Annette Andrea Dateram, Edward A. Beatri, Michael D. Doria, Lawrence Davidson, Michael Allen Davidson, Scott Matthew Davidson, Titus Davidson, Yorka Davila, Clinton Davis, Wayne Piriel Davis, Anthony Richard Dawson, Calvin Dawson, Edward James Day, Dorothy Alma de Arroyo, Jacerel D. Chavez, Jennifer De Jesus, Monique E. De Jesus, Nereda De Jesus, Emerita De La Pena, Azucena Maria De La Torre, Jose Nicolas De Pena, Jamal Ligasi De Santos, Christian Louis De Simone, and our only son out of three children, Jaisirel Malabuyok de Chavez. And Mi my... Okay. Yeah. God bless the whole world. And my son, Chris D. Simone. Chris, we miss you so much, and we love you. Melanie Louise Devere. William Thomas Dean. Thomas Patrick DeAngelis. Robert J. DeAngelis, Jr. Tara E. DeBeck. Anna Maraja Deben. James V. DeBlas. Paul DeCola. Simon Marash DeDvukaj. Jason Christopher DeFazio. David a. DeFeo. Manuel DeVeye De Jr. Donald Arthur De La Pena. Vito Joseph DeLeo. Danielle Ann DeLee. Joseph A. De La Pietra. Andrea De La Bella. Palmina De La Gatte. Colleen Ann DeLauri. Francis Albert DeMartini. Anthony DeMoss. Martin N. DeMeo. Francis Deming. Carol K. DeMiss. Kevin Dennis. Thomas F. Dennis. Jean De Palma. Robert John DeRaney. And my son, Vincent Francis DeFazio, who left a smile in all our hearts. And my son, Christopher Moore Dincuff, we love you and we miss you. Michael DiRienzio. David Paul DeRubio. Edward De Simone III. Andrew DeSpirito. Michael Jude D'Esposito. Cindy Ann Duell. Jerry DeVito. Robert P. DeVitt Jr. Dennis Lawrence Devlin. Gerard Diwan. Sulamanali Kazamanali Danani. Patricia Florence DeCharo. Deborah Ann DiMartino. Michael Louis DiAugustino. Matthew Diaz. Nancy Diaz. Michael A. Diaz Piedra III. Judith Berquist Diaz Sierra. Joseph Dermont Dickey Jr. Lawrence Patrick Dickinson. Michael D. Deal. John DeFato. Vincent DeFazio. Carl Anthony DeFranco. Donald DeFranco. David DeMiglio. Stephen Patrick Domino. William John Dimling. 
and our son, Vincent M. Bowen, Jr. We miss you, Vincent, and we love you very much. Rest in peace. I don't know, Rita. Did I have to come away? Marissa? Rita, what's this? Denied our shop. What's this? No, no, I see it. What's this? Yeah. Am I reading? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Krista M. Denafo. Jeffrey Mark Dingle. Anthony Degasino. George, George D. Pasquale. Joseph D. Polito. Douglas Frank Distavano. Donald Harmonico Ditilio. Ramsey A. Doney. John Joseph Doherty. Melissa C. Duow. Brendan Dolan. Neil Matthew Dollard. James Joseph Domenico. Belindo Pasquale Dominguez. Alberto Domenguez. Carlos Dominguez. Jerome Mark Patrick Domenez. Kevin W. Donnelly. Jacqueline Donovan. Stephen Scott Dorf. Thomas Dowd. Kevin Christopher Dowdell. Mary Alanda Dowling. Raymond Matthew Downey. Frank Joseph Doyle. Joseph Matthew Doyle. Randall L. Drake. And our son, Stephen Patrick. Thank you. Yeah. Stephen Patrick Driscoll. Myrna A. Duarte. Luke A. Dudek. Christopher Michael Duffy. Gerard Duffy. Michael Joseph Duffy. Thomas W. Duffy. Antoinette Duger. Sarib Ducat. Christopher Joseph Dunn. Richard Anthony Dunstan. Patrick Thomas Dwyer. Joseph Anthony Ekobaki. John Bruce Eagleson. Robert Douglas Eaton. Dean Philip Eberling. Margaret Ruth Ekterman. Paul Robert Ekna. Constantine Economos. Dennis Michael Edwards. Michael Hardy Edwards. Mary Lynn Edwards Angel. Christine Egan. Lisa Egan. Michael Egan. Samantha Martin Egan. Martin J. Egan, Jr. Carol Eggert. And my loving son, Joshua Todd Aaron. I miss you. I love you always. And our loving son, Paul Robert Eckner, our tower of strength, we love and miss you. Lisa Karen Ehrlich. John Ernst Eichler. Eric Adam Eisenberg. Daphne Ferlinda Elder. Michael J. L. Ferris. Mark Joseph Ellis. Valerie Silver Ellis. Albert Alfie William Elmari. Edgar Hendricks Emery Jr. Doris Sukyen Eng. Christopher Epps. Alf Ram Erickson. Erwin L. Erker. William John Erwin. Sarah Ali Escarcega. Jose Espinal. Fanny Espinoza. Bridget Ann Esposito. Frankie Esposito. Michael Esposito. William Esposito. Ruben 
Esquilin Jr. Sadie Ette. Barbara G. Etzgold. Eric Brian Evans. Robert Edward Evans. Meredith Emily June Ewart. Catherine F. Fagan. And my beloved son, Frankie Esposito, and my nephew, Captain Michael Esposito. Forever in our hearts, we love and miss you. And my son, Stephen Dennis Cafiro Jr. I will love and miss you always till we're together again. And as of two days ago, you have a nephew, Alexander Stephen Cafiro. Patricia Mary Fagan. He, George Fairbin. Sandra Fajardo Smith. William F. Fallon. William Lawrence Fallon, Jr. Anthony J. Alone. Dolores Brigitte Finelli. Robert John Fangman. John Joseph Fanning. Kathleen Ann Saraha. Thomas James Farino. Nancy Carol Farley. Paige Marie Farley Hackle. Elizabeth Ann Farmer. Douglas John Farnham. John Gerard Farrell. John Farrell. Terrence Patrick Farrell. Joseph D. Farrelly. Thomas Patrick Farrelly. Saeed Abdul Fatah. Christopher Edward Fornan. Wendy R. Faulkner. Shannon Marie Fava. Bernard D. Favusa. Ronald Carl Fazio. Robert Fazio, Jr. William Feehan. My amazing son, D Douglas John Farnham. Always loved and missed. Our dear son, John Farrell. We love you, John. Francis Jude Feely. Garth Aaron Feeney. Sean B. Fagan. Lee S. Feeling. Peter Adam Feidelberg. Alan D. Feinberg. Rosa Maria Feliciano. Edward Thomas Fergus, Jr. George Ferguson. Henry Fernandez. Judy Hazel Fernandez. Julio Fernandez. Elisa Giselle Farina. Anne Marie Salaran Ferrara. Robert John Ferris. David Francis Ferruccio. Louis V. Fersini. Michael David Ferruccio. Bradley James Fetchett. Jennifer Louise Fialco. Kristen Nicole Fidel. Samuel Fields. Alexander Milan Filipov. Michael Bradley Finnegan. Timothy J. Finnerty. Michael Curtis Fiora. Stephen Fiorelli Sr. Paul M. Fiora. And to our son, who we love and miss so very, very much, Bradley James Fetchett. And to our son, Bradley James Fetchett, you are in our hearts today and forever. We miss you, Brad. John B. Ferrado. John R. Fisher. Andrew Fisher. Bennett Lawson Fisher. John Roger Fisher. Thomas J. Fisher. Lucy A. Fishman. Ryan D. Fitzgerald. Thomas James Fitzpatrick. Richard P. Fitzsimmons. Salvatore Fiamfredo. 
Christina Donovan Flannery. Eileen Fletcher. Andre G. Fletcher. Carl M. Flickinger. John Joseph Florio. Joseph Walken Flounders. Carol Ann Flizick. David Fodor. Michael N. Fodor. Stephen Mark Fogel. Thomas Foley. David J. Fontana. Chi Min Fu. But Godwin Ford. Donald A. Foreman. Christopher Hugh Forsyth. Claudia Alicia Foster. And my beloved grandson, Bradley James Fetchett. And our best friend, the light of our family, our son, Michael Bradley Milligan. Noel John Foster. Anna Fosteris. Robert Joseph Fody. Jeffrey Fox. Virginia Fox. Pauline Francis. Virgin Francis. Gary J. Frank. Morton H. Frank. Peter Christopher Frank. Richard K. Fraser. Kevin J. Frawley. Clyde Frazier, Jr. Lillian Inez Frederick. Andrew Fredericks. Tamitha Freeman. Brett Owen Freeman. Peter L. Freund. Arlene Eva Freed. Alan Wayne Friedlander. Andrew Keith Friedman. Paul J. Friedman. Greg J. Frona. Lisa Ann Frost. Peter Christian Fry. Clement A. Fumando. Stephen Elliot Furman. Paul James Fermato. And my son, firefighter Thomas J. Foley. We miss you and love you very much. And my beloved son, Paul J. Friedman. Carlton D. B. Fife. Frederick Neil Gabler. Richard Samuel Frederick Gabriel. James Andrew Gadiel. Pamela Lee Gaff. Irvin Vincent Gallard. Diana Lynn Galante. Grace Catherine Galante. Anthony Edward Gallagher. Daniel James Gallagher. John Patrick Gallagher. Lourdes Galetti. Cano E. Gallo. Vincenzo Gallucci. Thomas E. Galvin. Giovanna Galetta Gambali. Thomas Gambino, Jr. Jean Franco Gamboa. Ronald Gamboa. Peter Ganshi. Claude Michael Gan. Charles William Garbarini. Caesar R. Garcia. David Garcia. Juan Garcia. Marlon Del Carmen Garcia. Christopher S. Gardner. Douglas Benjamin Gardner. And, and our, our beloved, beloved son, Frederick, Frederick Neil, Neil Gabler, Gabler who we, we will, will miss you forever. forever. Jeffrey Brian Gardner. Thomas A. Gardner. William Arthur Gardner. Harvey J. Gardner III. Francesco Garfi. Rocco Nina Gargono. James M. Gartenberg. Matthew David Garvey. Bruce Gary. Boyd Allen Gatton. Donald Richard Gavigan Jr. Peter Allen Gay. Terence D. Gazzani. Gary Paul Guidel. Paul Hamilton Geyer. Julie M. Guise. Peter G. Gelinas. Stephen Paul Geller. I'm sorry, Howard G. Jelling. P. 
Peter Victor Jenko Jr. Stephen Gregory Genovese. Elaine Gentoul. Linda M. George. Edward F. Girardi. Susan Girardi. Ralph Gerhardt. Robert Gerlich. Dennis P. Germain. And my son, Andrew H. Galkin. You will live in our hearts forever. And my son, Peter Rodney Kellerman. We all love you and miss you so much, Pete. Marina Romanona Gerbers. James G. Geyer. Vincent Francis G. Giamona. James Andrews Giberson. Susan M. Getzendanner. Joseph M. Giacone. Deborah Lynn Gibbon. Craig Neil Gibson. Ronnie E. Gayers. And Laura A. Giglio. Andrews Clive Gilbert. Timothy Paul Gilbert. Paul Stuart Gilbert. Paul John Gill. Mar Y. Gillett. Evan Gillette. Ronald Lawrence Gilligan. Rodney C. Gillies. Laura Gillick. John F. Ginley. Donna Maria Giordano. Jeffrey John Giordano. John Giordano. Stephen A. Giorgetti. Martin Giovanasso. Kum Kum G. Orlamo. Salvatore Guito. Cynthia Gugliana. Y mi hija Malin del Carmen Garcia. Te extrañamos mucho, mi hija. And my son, Peter Victor Genko. We miss you very, very much, dear. Not all over. Oh, are they? <coughs> Back there a ways. John Balash. Diane Gladstone. Keith Alexander Glasgow. Thomas Irwin Glasser. Edmund Glaser. Harry Glenn. Barry H. Glick. Stephen Glick. John T. Ganazzo. William Robert Godshock. Michael Gorlia Mella. Brian Frederick Goldberg. Jeffrey Grant Goldflam. Michelle Goldstein. Monica Goldstein. Stephen Goldstein. Andrew H. Galkin. Dennis James Gomes. Enrique Antonio Gomez. Jose Bienavito Gomez. Wilder Alfredo Gomez. Manuel Gomez, Jr. Janine Nicole Gonzalez. Mauricio Gonzalez. Rusa Gonzalez. Lynn Catherine Goodchild. Calvin J. Gooding. Peter M. Goodrich. And our, and our son, son William, William Robert, Robert Godshock. Love you, Bill. Lots of love, Bill, Bill. And everyone, for, never forget 9-11 and all those lost. Harry Goody. Kiran Reedy Gupu. Catherine C. Gorayeb. Lisa Reinhardt Gordonstein. Kareen Gordon. Sebastian Gorky. Kieran Joseph Gorman. Thomas Edward Gorman. Michael Edward Gould. Douglas Allen Gowell. Yuji Goya. Jean Richard Grabowski. Christopher Michael Grady. Edwin J. Graff III. David Martin Grafman. 
Gilbert Franco Granados. Alvira Granito. Winston Arthur Grant. Christopher S. Gray. James Michael Gray. Tara McLeod Gray. Linda Catherine Grayling. John M. Grazioso. Timothy George Grazioso. Derek Arthur Green. Wade B. Green. Elaine Myra Greenberg. Gail R. Green. And my son, firefighter Paul John Gill. Paul, we miss you and we love you so much. And we look forward to the day when we will be reunited with you again in heaven. Anne and Henry Gilliam's grandson and my son, Sergeant Rodney C. Gillis. President Abraham Lincoln wrote a letter to a widow who had lost five sons in the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln's words apply just as much today to all those who died during the brutal terrorist attacks on the United States perpetrated on September 11, 2001. The letter reads as follows. Executive Mansion, Washington, November 21st, 1864. Dear Madam, I have been shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjutant General of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. I feel how weak and fruitless must be any word of mine which should attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. But I cannot refrain from tendering you the consolation that may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the loved and lost and the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, A. Lincoln. God bless you. God bless America. And we will never forget. Arthur Greenleaf Jr. Eileen Marsha Greenstein. Elizabeth Martin Gregg. Denise Gregory. 
Donald H. Gregory, Florence Moran Gregory, Pedro Graham, John Michael Griffin, Tavana Sherry Griffin, Joan Donna Griffith, Warren Grifka, Ramon Grijalvo, Joseph F. Grillo, David Joseph Grimner, Francis Edward Grogan, Kenneth George Rosales, Joseph Grisellak, Matthew James Grzymalski, Robert Joseph Cha, Lemming Jew, Jose A. Guadalupe, Cindy Jan Zuguan, Geoffrey E. Guya, Joseph Peter Gullickson, Babita Giamanati Guman, Douglas Brian Dorian, Janet Ruth Gustafsson, Philip T. Guza, und unser Sohn Sebastian Gorki, wir lieben dich, wir vermissen dich. And my two sons, Timothy George Grazioso and John Michael Grazioso, whom we miss and love very much. Barbara Gazzardo. Peter M. Gulavari. Gary Robert Haig. Andrew Lynn Haberman. Barbara Mary Habib. Philip Hangsler. Nizam A. Habiz. Karen Elizabeth Haggerty. Stephen Michael Hages. Mary Lou Haig. David Halderman. Mele Arkel Hale. Richard B. Hall. Vaswal George Hall. Robert J. Halligan. Vincent Gerard Halloran. James Douglas Halverson. Mohammed Salman Hamdoni. Felicia Hamilton. Robert W. Hamilton. Carl Max Hammond, Jr. Frederick K. Hahn. Christopher J. Hanley. Sean S. Hanley. Valerie Joan Hanna. Thomas Hannafin. Kevin James Hannaford. Michael Lawrence Hannon. And to my daughter, Andrea Lynn Haberman, we are here with you. We love you. We will never forget. And to my son, Stephen Michael Hagis, we miss you terribly. We love you, and we will never forget you. Okay. Dana R. Hannon. Christine Lee Hansen. Peter Burton Hansen. Sue Ju Hansen. Vasilios G. Haramis. James A. Haran. Gerald Francis Hardiker. Jeffrey Pike Hardy. Timothy John Hargrave. Daniel Edward Harlan. Francis Harros. Lieutenant Harvey L. Harrell. Stephen G. Harrell. Melissa Marie Harrington. Aisha Ann Harris. Stuart Dennis Harris. John Patrick Hart. Eric, Eric Hartono. John Clinton Hartz. Emmerich Harvey. Peter Paul Hashim. Timothy Sean Haskell, firefighter. Thomas Haskell, Jr. Joseph John Hassan III. Leonard W. Hatton. Captain Terence S. Hatton. Michael Helmut Howe. Timothy Aaron Pavillon. And my son, T.J. Hargrave. We'll miss you and love you forever. And my two sons, Thomas, Battalion Chief Thomas Haskell and Timothy Haskell, firefighter. We love you and miss you and are proud of you. Donald G. Havlish, Jr. Anthony Maurice Hawkins. Nobuhiro Hayatsu. James Edward Hayden. Philip Hayes. Robert J. Hayes. 
William Ward Haynes. Scott Jordan Hazelcorn. Michael K. Healy. Roberta B. Hever. Charles Francis Xavier Heron. John F. Heffernan. Howard Joseph Heller, Jr. Joanne L. Heltebriddle. Mark F. Hemshoot. Ronnie Lee Henderson. Brian Hennessy. Edward R. Hennessy, Jr. Michelle Marie Enrique. Joseph Patrick Henry. William Henry. John Christopher Henwood. Robert Allen Hepburn. Mary Herencia. Lindsay C. Herkness III. Harvey Robert Hermer. Clarabel Hernandez. Nuberto Hernandez. Joseph John Hassan III, my grandson. And my son, Joseph John Hassan III. We love you, Joe. Thanks for the memories and thanks for your son. We, we miss you dearly. Love you. Raul Hernandez. Gary Howell. Jeffrey A. Hirsch. Thomas Hetzel. Brian Christopher Hickey. Enemenko Dario Heldado Sedeno. Timothy Higgins. Robert D. W. Higley II. Todd Russell Hill. Clara Victorine Hines. Neil O. Hines. Mark D. Hindi. Katsuyuki Irari. Heather Mayala Ho. Tara Yvette Hobbs. Thomas Anderson Hobbs. James A. Hoban. Robert Wayne Hobson. Dijon Hodges. Ronald George Honer. Patrick A. Hoey. John A. Hoffer. Marcia Hoffman. Stephen G. Hoffman. Frederick Joseph Hoffman. Michelle L. Hoffman. Judith Lawrence Hoffmiller. Thomas Warren Holwick, Jr. And, and our, our son, son Firefighter, Firefighter Joseph, Joseph Patrick, Patrick Henry. Henry. We miss you, Joey. We love you. And so does Eddie, Michael, Mary, Danny, and Kathleen. Jonathan R. Holman. John Holland. Cora Hildago Holland. Another one. Joseph Holland. Elizabeth Holmes. Thomas Holohan. Herbert Wilson Homer. Bradley Van Horn. James P. Hopper. Montgomery McCullough Hood. Michael Joseph Horn. Matthew Douglas Horning. Robert L. Horaho Jr. Michael Robert Horrocks. Aaron Horowitz. Charles Houston. Aruho Houston. George Howard. Michael C. Howell. Stephen Leon Howell. Jeffrey L. Howley. Milagros Ramada. Marion R. Hersack. Stephen Huxco, Jr. Chris Robert Hughes. Paul Rexford Hughes. Thomas Hughes. Timothy Robert Hughes. And my son, Lieutenant Michael Kevin Healy, FDNY. And my son, Firefighter Thomas Patrick Holohan, Jr. Robert T. 
T. Hughes, Jr. Susan Huey, Lamar House, John Nicholas Humber, Jr. William Christopher Hunt, Kathleen Ann Hunt Casey, Firefighter Joseph Gerard Hunter, Robert R. Hughesa, Thomas Edward Hines, Walter G. Hines, Joseph Anthony Ionelli, Zutu Ibis, Firefighter Jonathan Lee Ielpi, Michael Iken, Daniel Econavie, Anthony P. Infante Jr., Abraham Nathaniel Eliowitz, Christopher Noble Ingracia, Louis S. Ingoterra Jr., Stephanie Veronica Irby, Paul Ainella, Christine A. Irvin Ryan, Douglas Jason Ergang, Eric Ibrinson, Todd Antion Isaac, Walid Joseph Iskandar, Taizo Ishikawa, and my son, my loving son, ain't firefighter. Angel Warby Jr., we love you, we miss you. We love you more today than yesterday, and we will love you tomorrow more than today. And my son, firefighter Joseph Gerard Hunter, we love and miss you very, very much. Abram Iskandarian Jr. John F. Iskian. Kazushika Ito. Alexander Valerievich Ivansov. Virginia May Yablonsky. Brooke Alexandra Jackman. Aaron Jer Jer Jeremy Jacobs. Ariel Luis Jacobs. Jason Kyle Jacobs. Michael Grady Jacobs. Stephen A. Jacobson. Rick Knott. Jaggernaut. Jake Dennis Yagoda. Yud Ver Singh Hain. Maria Yakubak. Robert Adrian Jalbert. Ernest James. Griselda E. Hamas. Mark Stephen Hardim. Amy N. Jarrett. Mohamedou Jawara. Francois John Pierre. Maxima John Pierre. Paul Edward Jeffers. Alva Cynthia Jeffers Sanchez. John Charles Jenkins. Joseph Jenkins Jr. Alan Keith Jensen. And our, and our beloved, beloved son, son Donald, Donald Thomas, Thomas Jones, Jones II. II. Prem N. Giraffe. Farah Judy. Huida Jian. Eliza Jimenez Jr. Luis Jimenez Jr. Charles Gregory John. Nicholas John. Lashona Johnson. Scott. Michael Johnson. William R. Johnston. Allison Horseman Jones. Brian Leander Jones. Charles Edward Jones. Christopher D. Jones. Donald T. Jones. Donald W. Jones. Linda Jones. Mary S. Jones. Arthur Joseph Jones III. Andrew B. Jordan. Robert Thomas Jordan. Albert Gunnis Joseph. Ingeborg Joseph. Carl Henry Joseph. Stephen Joseph. 
Jane Eileen Josiah. Anthony Hovick. Firefighter Angel L. Huarbe Jr. And our son, son Howard, Howard Lee, Lee Kane. Kane. Housie, we miss you and we love you. Karen Sue Jude. The Reverend Michael F. Judge. Paul William Jurgens. Thomas Edward Jurgens. Shashishkarin Lashmikanta Kadaba. Gafaroy Kama Dinova. Sherry Kendell. Howard Lee Kane. Jennifer Lynn Kane. Vincent D. Kane. Ju Ku Kang. Sheldon Robert Cantor. Deborah H. Kaplan. Robin Lim Kaplan. Alvin Peter Kappelman, Jr. Charles Karcheski. William A. Carnes. Douglas Jean Carpello. Charles L. Casper. Andrew K. Yates. John Katsimitidis. Robert Michael Colfers. John Jerome Kauf, Jr. Hydea Kawachi. Edward T. Keene. Robert M. Keene. Lisa Yvonne Kearney Griffin. Carol Ann Kiesler. And our son, son firefighter, firefighter Thomas, Thomas John, John Kennedy. Kennedy. We love you, and you brothers miss you more than you'll know. Barbara A. Keating. Paul Hanlon Keating. Leo Russell Keene III. Joseph John Keller. Peter R. Kellerman. Joseph P. Kellett. Frederick H. Kelly, Jr. James Joseph Kelly. Thomas Michael Kelly. Maurice P. Kelly. Thomas W. Kelly. Thomas Richard Kelly. Richard John Kelly, Jr. Timothy Colin Kelly. Robert Clinton Kennedy. William Hill Kelly, Jr. John R. Keohane. Thomas J. Kennedy. Ronald T. Kerwin. Ralph Francis Kershaw. Douglas D. Ketchum. Howard L. Kestenbaum. Boris Halif. Ruth Ellen Kettler. Timur Faraz Khan. Sarah Khan. And my son, firefighter Robert King Jr. We love you and miss you. Rajesh Kandelwal. And my son, Glenn Davis Kerwin. We love you and miss you, and may God keep you and bless you. Abala Shalom. Saliah Ku, Michael Vernon Kiefer, Satashi Kuki Chahara, Andrew J. Hoon Kim, Lawrence D. Kim, Mary Jo Kimmelman, Heinrich Kinnick, Amy R. King, Andrew M. King, Lucille Teresa King. Robert King, Jr. Lisa King Johnson. Brian K. Kinney. Takashi Kinoshita. Chris Michael Kirby. Howard Barry Kirschbaum. Glenn Davis Kerwin. Helen Croson Kittle. Richard Joseph Clares. Peter Anton Klein. Helen David Kleinberg. Karen Joyce Klitzman. Ronald Philip Klepfer. Eugenie Kanai F. Andrew Knox. Thomas Patrick Knox. Rebecca Lee Kabori. 
Deborah A. Kovas. And my son, Ronald Philip Klepfer, who we love and miss dearly. And my son, our son, Ryan A. Cohart, your brothers and your father and I miss you every day, right, man? Gary Edward Kochler. Frank J. Costner. Ryan Cohart. Vanessa Lynn Kolpak. Irina Kolpakova. Suzanne Kondratenko. Abdalea Kohn. Bon Siak Ku. Dorata Kopichko. Scott Kopitko. Bojan Kostik. Danielle Kosolis. David P. Kovalson. John J. Kren. William E. Krukowski. Ludmila Casido. Shekhar Kumar. Kenneth Ruth Kumpel. Frederick Kuo Jr. Patricia Kuras. Nauka Kushatani. Thomas Joseph Kuvakis. Victor Quarky. Kui Fai Kwak. Angela Reed Kite. Andrew Lacorte. Catherine L. Labori. Amarnauth Lachman. And our and lovely our daughter, Suzanne, Suzanne Rose, Rose Kondratenko. Our love for you is infinite, Suzanne. We love you, Luluan. Ganeshke Lakaz. James Patrick Ladley. Joseph A. Lafont. Jeanette Louise Lafond Menachino. David Lafont. Michael Laforte. Ellen Charles LaFrance. Juan Mendez Lafuente. Luz Juan Waslai. Vincent Anthony Leetta. William David Lake. Franco La Lama. Chao Kuan Lang. Stephen Lamantia. Amy Hope Lamonso. Robert Lane. Brenda Mark Lang. Roseanne P. Lang. Vanessa Langer. Mary Louise Langley. Peter J. Langone. Thomas Michael Langone. Michelle Bernadette Lanza. Ruth Sheila Lapin. Carol Al Laplante. Ingeborg Larrabee. Robin Blake Lackey. Judith Camilla Larock. And my love son, Luis Jimenez Jr. We love him forever. And my daughter, Janine Mary Laverde. We miss you. We love you. Christopher Randall Larrabee. Hamadou S. Larry. Scott Larson. John Adam Larson. Natalie Janice Lasden. Gary Edward Lasko. Nicholas Craig Lastman. Paul Lasinski. Jeffrey G. Latouche. Charles a. Lawrenson. Stephen James Laria. Maria Lavatch. Dennis Francis Lavelle. Janine Mary Laverdi. Anna A. Laverty. Stephen Lawn. Robert Lawrence. Nathaniel Lawson. Eugene Gabriel Lazar. James 
Patrick Leahy, Joseph Gerard Levy, Neil Joseph Levy, Robert G. LeBlanc, Leon Labor, Kenneth Charles Lede, Alan J. Letterman, Elena F. A. Ledesma, Alexis Leduc, and my beloved son, Richard Y.C. Lee, we love you. And my son, Port Authority Police Officer, David Prudencio Lamagne, we missed you. found this note tucked into the corner of his scrapbook in the family center. Its paper was slightly torn, as though it had been held too tightly, as tightly as a mother holds her child's hand. When you remember me, it means that you have carried something of who I am with you that I have left some mark of who I am on who you are. It means that even after I die, you can still see my face and hear my voice and speak to me in your heart. For as long as you remember me, I am never entirely lost. My name is Pearl Maynard. My son's name was Keith Roy Maynard. My niece, Allison, and her classmates wrote this poem for him. It is called, An Unknown Hero. To many of us, he was a face unknown, a man whose courage was bravely shown. Yes, it happened that dreadful day when the entire country wept and prayed. To save others, he gave his life, leaving behind a child, Keith Roy. Without a thought, he went inside. Do you think he was terrified? Cheering him on was God above, giving him courage and giving him love. My Kitty, we all love you and miss you. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen, and down the
John Lee. David S. Lee. Gary H. Lee. Yun Jun Lee. Juanita Lee. Catherine Blair Lee. Linda C. Lee. Lorraine Mary Lee. May Young Wu Lee. Richard Y. Lee. Stuart Su Jin Lee. Yang Der Lee. Stephen Paul Lefkowitz. Adriana Legro. Edward Joseph Lehman. Eric Andrew Lerfeld. David Leistman. David Prodincio Laman. Joseph Anthony Lenahan. John Joseph Lennon Jr. John Robinson Lenoir. Jorge Luis Leon. Matthew Gerard Leonard. Michael Lapore. Charles A. Lesperance. Jeff Levine. John Dennis Levi. Alicia Karen Levin. And my son, Alan David Kleinberg. Alan, my son, we love you, we miss you. You'll never be forgotten. Love you, Mom. And our daughter, Alicia Karen Levin, who is loved and missed by everybody. Alicia, we all love you. Neil David Levine. Levin. Robert Levin. Robert Michael Levine, Shay Levenhar, Daniel M. Lewin, Adam J. Lewis, Margaret Susan Lewis, Ye Wei Liang, Orasri Liantana Sarn, Daniel F. Libretti, Ralph Richardi, Edward Lickshine, Stephen Barry Lilienthal, Carlos R. Lilio, Craig Damian Lilor, <coughs> Arnold A. Lim, Daria Lin, Wei Rong Lin, Nikki L. Lindo, Thomas V. Linehan Jr. Robert Thomas Linane. Alan P. Linton Jr. Diane Teresa Lipari. Kenneth B. Lira. Francisco Alberto Liriano. Lorraine Lissy. Paul Lizon and my son, Edward Hobbs Luckett. Thank God for our son. He made us proud. George Andrew Lanes. Vince, Vincent M. Little. Ming Hao Liu. Nancy Liz. Harold Liscano, Martin Lizul, George A. Lanes, Elizabeth C. Logler, Catherine Lisa Lajudis, Jerome Robert Lohes, Michael William Lomax, Laura Maria Longing, Salvatore P. Lopez, Daniel Lopez, George Lopez, Luis Manuel Lopez, Manuel L. Lopez, Maclovio Lopez Jr., 
Joseph Lestrangio, Chet Dick Louis, Stuart Side Lewis, Joseph Lovero, Sarah Elizabeth Lowe, Jenny Sue Kun Lo Wong, Michael W. Lowe, Gary W. Lozier, John Peter Lazowski, Charles Peter Lusania, and my son, Sean Thomas Lugano, and my son, Mark Gavin Ludwigson, Claire's brother. Edward H. Lockett. Mark Gavin Ludwigson. Lee Charles Ludwig. Sean Thomas Lugano. Daniel Lugo. Marie Lucas. William Lum Jr. Michael P. London. Christopher Edmund Lunder. Anthony Luparello. Gary Frederick Lutnick. Linda Ann Luzacone. Alexander Ligen. Farrell Peter Lynch. James Francis Lynch. Louise A. Lynch. Michael Cameron Lynch. Michael Francis Lynch. Michael F. Lynch. Sean P. Lynch. Sean Patrick Lynch. Richard D. Lynch, Jr. Robert Henry Lynch, Jr. Michael J. Lyons. Monica Ann Lyons. Patrick J. Lyons. Robert Francis Mace. And my son, Daniel L. Marr. And my son, firefighter Michael F. Lynch. Mike, your mom, your brothers and sisters, and I miss you very much and love you dearly. Marianne McFarlane. Jan Machuweski. Susan A. McKay. Catherine Fairfax McRae. Richard Blaine Madden. Simon Madison. Noel Myers. Jenean Maffeo. Joseph Maffeo. J. Robert Magazine. Brian McGee. Charles Wilson McGee. Joseph V. McGiddy. Ronald Magnuson. Daniel L. Meyer. Thomas Anthony Mahone. William J. Mahoney. Joseph Daniel Mayo. Takashi Makimoto. Abdu Ali Malahi. Deborah I. Maldonado. Mirna T. Maldonado Agosto. Alfred Russell Mailer. Gregory James Malone. Joseph Maloney. Edward Francis Melanie III. Jean Edward Malloy. And my precious son, Peter Edward Mardikian. We love you and we miss you. And my son, Christian Hartwell Maltby. My love, my shooting star. Christian Maltby. Francisco Miguel Mancini. Joseph Mangano. Sarah Elizabeth Manley. Deborah Manetti. Marion Victoria Manning. Terence John Manning. James Mahonis. Alfred Gillis Marchand. Joseph Ross Marchbanks, Jr. 
Peter Edward Modikian. Edward Joseph Modovich. Charles Joseph Margiata. Louis Neil Mariani. Kevin Kenneth Joseph Marino. Lester V. Marino. Vida Marino. Kevin D. Marlowe. Jose Marrero. John Daniel Marshall. James Martello. Michael A. Marty. Karen Ann Martin. Peter C. Martin. William J. Martin, Jr. Brian E. Martinow. Betsy Martinez. And my beautiful son, Lieutenant Charles Joseph Margiata. We love you and miss you. You're still the big guy. And Thank my you. son, Edward Joseph Martovich, you left a void in our life. We will love and miss you forever. Edward Martinez. Robert Gabriel Martinez. Lizzie D. Martinez Calderon. Jose Angel Martinez, Jr. Paul Richard Martini. Joseph A. Mescali. Bernard Mascarenhas. Stephen Frank Massey. Nicholas George Massa. Patricia Ann Massari. Michael Massaroli. Philip William Massandrea, Jr. Rudolph Mastrachinque. Joseph Mathai. Charles Mathers. William A. Matheson. Marcello Matriciano. Margaret Elaine Matic. Robert D. Matson. Walter Matuza. Charles J. Morrow. Dorothy Morrow. Nancy T. Morrow. Charles A. Morrow, Jr. Tyrone May. Keith Roy Marcellus Maynard. Robert J. Mayo. And our son, Kenneth Joseph Marino. Firefighter Rescue One. Kenny, we love you and we miss you. Go. Kathy Nancy Mazza. Edward Mazella, Jr. Jennifer Lynn Mazota. Correa Mbaya. Jason Joseph McAleary. Brian Gerard McAleese. Patricia Ann McEnay. Colin R. MacArthur. John Kevin McAvoy. Kenneth M. McBrayer. Brendan McCabe. Michael McCabe. Thomas J. McCann. Justin McCarthy. Kevin M. McCarthy. Michael McCarthy. Robert McCarthy. Stanley McCaskill. Kathy Marie McCluskey. Joan McConnell Cullinan. Julianne Valentine McCourt. Ruth Magdalene McCourt. Charles Austin McCran. Tonyelle F. McDay. Matthew T. McDermott. Joseph P. McDonald. Brian Grady McDonald. And my beloved son, firefighter, Brian Gerard McAleese. And Brian, I miss your joy. Give Daddy a big hug for me. And my son, Robert Gabriel Martinez, security. We love you, Robert, and Jonathan misses you. Michael P. McDonald. John McDonald, Jr. Iman J. McNinney. John Thomas McLaren, Jr. Daniel Francis McGinley. Mark Ryan McGinley. William E. McGinn. Thomas Henry McGinnis. Michael Gregory McGinty. Ann McGovern. Scott Martin McGovern. William McGovern. Francis Noel McGuinn. Stacy Salinas McGovern. Patrick McGuire. 
Thomas F. McGinnis, Jr. Keith McGeefy, Thomas M. McHale, Dennis McHugh, Ann M. McHugh, Dennis J. McHugh III, Michael E. McHugh, Donald James McIntyre, Robert G. McAleen, Barry J. McKeon, Stephanie Marie McKenna, Daryl Laron McKinney, Evelyn C. McKinney, and my son, Thomas Henry McGinnis, whom I love. My beloved daughter, my one and only daughter, Tanyelle Fene McDay. We love and we miss you, Tanyelle. You will always be in our hearts. George Patrick McLaughlin, Jr. Robert C. McLaughlin, Jr. Gavin McMahon. Robert McMahon. Edmund McNally. Daniel W. McNeil. Walter Arthur McNeil. Christine Sheila McNulty. Sean Peter McNulty. Robert William McPadden. Terrence A. McShane. Timothy Patrick McSweeney. Martin E. McWilliams. Rocco A. Medallia. Abigail Callis Medina. Anna Iris Medina. Deborah Louise Medwig. Damian Meehan. William J. Meehan. Alak Kumar Mehta. Raymond Meisenheimer. Manuel Amelia Mejia. Escadar Meliku. Antonio Melendez. Mary Melendez. Christopher D. Mello. Yelena Melnichenko. And our son, Robert George McElvain. I love and miss you, Bobby. Bobby, Jeff, Dad, and I miss you and love you more than words can ever express. Good job. Steward Todd Meltzer. Daria Giovanna Mena. Charles Mendez. Lizette Mendoza. Siobhan Alisa Mentes. Wolfgang Peter Mensel. Steve John Mercado. Wesley Mercer. Ralph Joseph Mercurio. Alan Harvey Merdinger. George L. Marino. Yamel Josefina Marino. George McCouris. Deborah Merrick. Raymond Joseph Metz III. Jill Ann Metzler. David Robert Meyer. Nerul H. Maya. William Edward Machuli. Martin Paul Mickelstein. Peter Teague Milano. Gregory Milanowitz. Lucas Thomas Molesky. Sharon Christina Milan. Corey Peter Miller. Craig James Miller. Douglas Charles Miller. And my son, Daniel Walker McNeil. And my son, Dennis J. McHugh III. He is forever in our hearts. May his soul rest in peace. Joel Miller. Michael Matthew Miller. Philip D. Miller. Robert Alan Miller. Henry Alfred Miller, Jr. Robert Cromwell Miller, Jr. Benjamin Millman. Charles Morris Mills. Ronald Keith Milstein. Robert Minara. William George Minardi. Louis Joseph Minervino. Thomas Mingioni. Wilbur Mirail. Dominic N. Merkovich. Rajesh Arjan Mirpuri. Joseph Mistruli. 
Susan Miskowicz, Paul Thomas Mitchell, Richard P. Miocio, Jeffrey Peter Melandinek, Frank V. Moshia Sr., Louis Joseph Modafori, Boy Mohammed, Dennis Mojica, Manuel Mojica, Kleiber Rolando Molina, and my beloved son, Cesar Augusto Murillo, Cecita, we love you and we miss you tremendously. God bless you. And my beloved and beautiful son, firefighter Scott Michael Kopitko, we love you and miss you every day. Manuel De Jesus Molina. Carl Molinero. Justice Malasani. Brian Monahan. Franklin Monahan. John Gerard Monahan. Kristen Montanero. Craig Montano. Michael Mantezzi. Anthony Jesus Montoya Valdez. Carlos Alberto Montoya. Cheryl Ann Moniak. Thomas C. Moody. Sharon Moore. Krishna V. Morty. Laura Lee Morobito. Abner Morales. Carlos Manuel Morales. Paul E. Morales. John Christopher Moran. John Michael Moran. Kathleen Moran. Lindsay Stapleton Morehouse. George Morell. Stephen P. Morello. Vincent S. Morello. Yvette Nicole Marino. And uh, our uh, beloved son, son, Mike Firefighter, Michael, Michael Dermot Mullen, Mullen, Ladder 12. Michael, we thank you for all the joy and the laughter and the music you brought into our hearts. And we thank God every day for the gift of you, Michael. God bless you. Dorothy Morgan. Richard Morgan. Nancy Morgenstern. Sanai Mori. Blanca Robertina Morocho. Lionel Geronimo Morocho Morocho. Dennis Gerard Moroni. Lynn Irene Morris. Seth Allen Morris. Stephen Philip Morris. Christopher Martel Morrison. Jorge Luis Moron Garcia. Ferdinand V. Moroni. William David Mascal. Marco Matroni. Cynthia Modis Wilson. Yuri Moshinsky. Jude Joseph Mosa. Peter Moto. Damian O'Neill Moat. Christopher Michael Mozillo. Stephen Vincent Mulderry. Richard T. Muldowney, Jr. Michael D. Mullen. Dennis Michael Mullen. Peter James Mulligan. Michael Joseph Mullen. And my son, Charles Anthony Murphy, the beautiful and joyful Charlie. And my son, Brian Joseph Murphy. We love you and miss you. You'll be in our hearts forever. James Donald Noonan. Nancy Muniz. Carlos Noonan So. Frank. Haledio Minus. Teresa Munson. Robert M. Murat. Caesar Augustus Murello. Mark A. Murolo. Brian Joseph Murphy. 
Charles Anthony Murphy. Christopher W. Murphy. Edward Charles Murphy. James Thomas Murphy. Kevin James Murphy. Patrick Sean Murphy. Raymond E. Murphy. James F. Murphy the fourth. Robert Edie Murphy Jr. John Joseph Murphy. Susan D. Murray. Valerie Victoria Murphy. John Joseph Murray Jr. Richard Todd Meyer. Robert B. Nagel. Mildred Rose Naiman. Takuya Nakamura. Alexander John Robert Napier. And my wife Jeanette. And my daughter Anne Nicole Nelson. We miss you. Go ahead. And to my and to our loving son, our only son, Raymond Marcus Neblet. We all love and miss you, Marcus. Mom really miss you. May God continue to bless and guide you. We are all praying for you. Thank you. Frank Joseph Naples III. John Philip Napolitano. Catherine Ann Nardella. Mario Nardone Jr. Manika K. Narula. Sean M. Nasene. Nath Narenda Nath. Karen Susan Navarro. Joseph Michael Navas. Francis Joseph Nasario. Glenroy L. Ne Neblet. Raymond Marcus Neblet. Jerome O. Ned. Lawrence Nedell. Luke G. Nee. Pete Negron. Lori Ann Nera. Anne N. Nelson. David William Nelson. James Nelson. Michelle Ann Nelson. Peter Allen Nelson. Oscar Francis Nesbitt. Gerard Terrence Nevins. Renee Lucille Newell. Christopher Newton Carter. Nancy Young Najo. My son, firefighter Jeffrey James Olson from Ten House. Jeff from Jane. To the world, you are a hero. To our family, you are the world. And my beloved son, Brian Christopher Novotny, we love you. You are forever in our hearts. Jody Nichillo. Kathleen Ann Nicosia. Martin S. Nadira. Alphonse Joseph Niedermeyer. Frank John Nysat Jr. Gloria Nuevez. Juan Nieves Jr. Troy Edward Nielsen. Paul Nimley. John B. Niven. Catherine Marie Nowak. Curtis Terrence Noel. Daniel R. Nolan. Robert Walter Noonan. Jacqueline June Norton. Robert Grant Norton. Daniela R. Nataro. Brian Christopher Novotny. Suachi Numata. Brian Felix Nunez. Jose Nunez. Jeffrey Roger 
Nussbaum. James A. Oakley. Dennis Patrick Oberg. Michael P. O'Brien. Scott J. O'Brien. Timothy Michael O'Brien. And my daughter, Sarah Marie Patty. God bless you in heaven, honey. And my daughter, my hero, Jacqueline Patrice Sanchez. Mommy loves you, your family loves you, and everyone miss you. God bless you. Okay. I guess so. James P. O'Brien Jr. Dan Diana. No, no, skip. Okay. Di Daniel O'Callaghan. Diana J. O'Connor. Keith Kevin O'Connor. Richard J. O'Connor. Dennis James O'Connor Jr. Amy O'Dowdy. Marnie Pont O'Doherty. Douglas E. Oil Chagler. Takashi Ogawa. Albert Ogtree. Philip Paul Ognibeni. John A. Aganowski. James Andrew O'Grady. Joseph J. O'Green. Thomas G. O'Hagan. Samuel Oitais. Patrick J. O'Keefe. William O'Keefe. Gerald Michael Alcott. Gerald O'Leary. Christine Ann Oliner. Linda Mary Oliva. Edward Kraft Oliver. Lee E. Oliver. Eric T. Olson. Jeffrey James Olson. And mentor to his sister, brother, and a myriad of friends. My husband's and my son. NYPD officer, John William Perry Esquire. And my precious son, Anthony G. Peluso. We love you and we miss you very much. Maureen Lyons Olson. Stephen John Olson. Matthew Timothy O'Mahony. Toshihiro Anda. Simus O'Neill. John P. O'Neill. Sean Gordon O'Neill. Peter J. O'Neill, Jr. Betty Ann Ong. Michael C. Opperman. Christopher Oli Gilwis. Margaret Oloske. Virginia Ann Ormiston. Kevin O'Rourke. Ronald Orsini. Peter Keith Ortel. Juan Ortega Campos. Jane M. Ortiz. Alexander Ortiz. David Ortiz. Pablo Ortiz. Sonia Ortiz. Emilio Ortiz, Jr. Paul Ortiz, Jr. Masaru Jose. Patrick J. O'Shea. Robert William O'Shea. And, and our, our son, son Anthony, Anthony Perez. Perez. We love you, Tony, and thank you for giving us three precious grandchildren, Alexis, Anthony James, and Olivia. We love you, and you always be in our heart. We love you all. Thank you. Elsie C. Osorio. James R. Ostrowski. Timothy F. O'Sullivan. Jason Douglas Oswald. Michael John Otten. Isidoro D. Ottenwalder. Michael Chung O. Todd Joseph Oida. Jesus Ovales. Peter J. Owens, Jr. Adianas Oala. Angel M. Pabon. Israel Pabon, Jr. Roland Pacheco. 
Michael Benjamin Packer. Deepa Pakala. Jeffrey Matthew Palazzo. Thomas Palazzo. Richard Palazzolo. Oreo J. Palmer. Frank Anthony Palumbo. A Alan N. Palumbo. Christopher Matthew Panettiere. Dominique Lisa Pandolfo. Paul J. Pansini. John M. Paolo Lillo. Edward Joseph Papa. And my son, John Michael Poacher. No words can describe how much we miss you. I love you, bro. Salvatore T. Papasso. Firefighter James Nicholas Papa George. Marie Papalardo. Vinod Kumar Paracat. Vijay Ashanka Paramsoti. Nitin Ramesh Parankar. Hardai Parbu. James Wendell Parham. Deborah Marie Paris. George Paris. Guy Young Park. Philip Lacey Parker. Michael Elaine Parks. Robert E. Parks, Jr. Hashmukrai C. Palmer. Robert Paro. Diane Marie Parsons. Leobardo Lopez Pasqual. Michael J. Pascuma, Jr. Ger Gerald Paskins. Horace Robert Passanante. Suzanne H. Passaro. Avanish Ramanpai Patel. Dipti Patel. Manish Patel. Stephen Bennett Patterson. James Matthew Patrick. And, and our, our son, son Leonard, Leonard, Leonard J. John Regalia. Say something. Manuel D. Patrocino. Bernard E. Patterson. Sira Marie Patti. Robert E. Patterson. James Robert Paul. Patrice Paz. Victor Paz Gutierrez. Stacy Lynn Peak. Richard Allen Perlman. Darrell V. Pearsall. Thomas Nicholas Pecorelli. Thomas Pedicini. Todd Douglas Palus Polino. Michelle Adrian Pelletier. Anthony G. Peluso. Angel Ramon Pena. Richard L. Penny. Salvatore F. Pepe. Carl Peralta. Robert David Peraza. John A. Perconti. Alejo Perez. Angela Suzanne Perez. Anthony Perez. Ivan Perez. Nancy E. Perez. Angel Perez, Jr. And my son, Christian Michael Otto Regenhard, United States Marine, and probationary firefighter who obeyed every order he was able to hear on 9-11. And my daughter, Beth Ann Quigley, you were the light of our lives. You gave us much pleasure. We will always miss you and love you, and we'll always remember you forever. Berinthia B. Perkins. Joseph Edward. Joseph John Perichino. Edward J. Perota, Amelda H. Perry. Glenn C. Perry. John William Perry. Franklin Allen Pershep. Danny Pesky. Michael John Pesharin. David Peterson. William Russell Peterson. Mark Petroselli. Philip Scott Petty, Glenn Karen Pettit, Dominic Petzulo, Colleen Elizabeth Pazuti, Kevin Pfeiffer, Tuan Farm, Dominic.
Dominic Pizzullo. Suzette Eugenia Piantieri. Kevin Pfeiffer. Kenneth John Phelan. Suzette, I'm sorry, Suzette Eugenia Piantieri. Ludwig John Picardo. Matthew M. Caserno. Joseph Oswald Pick. Christopher Pickford. Dennis J. Pierce. Renato Pietronico. Nicholas P. Pietrunzi. I think I left out, I'm sorry. Kyleen Elizabeth Pizzuti. I apologize. And our son and brother, Michael Edward Roberts, twas heaven here with him. And my firstborn, Gregory David Richards, beloved father, husband, brother, nephew, son-in-law, friend. We will never forget you. Theodoros Pigis. Susan Elizabeth Pinto. Joseph Piscadlo. Christopher Church Pitchman. Joshua Michael Piver. Joseph Plomitalo. Ana Gloria Pocasangre de Barrera. John Fosher. William Howard Coleman. Lauren Polash. Thomas H. Polhemus. Steve Polichino. Susan M. Polio. Joshua Oza Pachman. Giovanna Porras. Anthony Portillo. James Edward Potorti. Daphne Deletsos. Richard N. Polos. Steven Emmanuel Polos. Brandon Jerome Powell. Sean Edward Powell. Antonio Dorsey Pratt. Gregor Preziosi. Wanda Evelise Prince. Vincent Prisciotta. Kevin Pryor. And my son, my hero, mi hijo de mi corazón, FDNY paramedic, Carlos Reynaldo Lillo Rodriguez. My son Ray, how much I miss you. My heart is still broken in pieces after you left. And my son, my beloved son, mi querido hijo, firefighter, Anthony Rodriguez, our hero. Everett Martin Proctor III. Terry Beth Progen. David Lee Pruim. Richard Prunty, John Foster Puckett, Robert David Pugliza, Edward F. Pullis, Patricia Ann Puma, Sonia M. Poapolo, Hemant Couture, Edward R. Picon, Christopher Quackenbush, Lars Peter Qualbin, Lincoln Guapa, Beth Ann Quigley, Patrick J. Quigley IV. Michael Quilty. Carol Millicent Rebelize. Ricardo J. Quinn. Leonard J. Ragaglia. Christopher Peter A. Racaniello. Laura Marie Ragonese Sneak. Eugene Raggio. Peter Frank Raimondi. Michael Paul Ragusa. And our son, brother, uncle, cousin, and friend, dear to all of us. Harry A. Rains and our beloved son, 
and father of Ruby, Peter Anthony, Pedro Antonio Vega Murphy. Atesha Raja. Valsa Raju. Edward Joseph Rawl. Lucas Rambuzek. Maria Ramirez. Harry Ramos. Vishnu Ramasop. Lorenzo E. Ramsey. Jonathan C. Randall. Dave, Adam David Rand. Ann T. Ransom. Sinivasa Shreyas Ranganath. Robert A. Rasmussen. Vanya Aronovna Rappaport. Roger Mark Raswal. Aminia Razul. William Ralph Ralph. David Allen Rathke. Alexis Razulia. Gerard P. Rayuzzi. Sarah Ann Redheffer. Gregory Rita. Judith Ann Reese. Michelle Marie Rand. Robert M. Regan. Donald J. Regan. And, and our and beloved, our beloved son, son Joshua, Joshua M. M. Rosenblum, Rosenblum, a blessed memory. memory. You will be in our, in our hearts, hearts forever. forever. Thomas Michael Regan. Christian Michael Otto Regenhard. Howard Reich. Greg Reedy. James Brian Riley. Kevin O. Riley. Timothy E. Riley. Joseph Rena Jr. Thomas Barnes Rennig. Frank Bennett Reisman. Joshua Scott Reese. Karen Renda. John Armand Rio. Richard Cyril Rescorla. John Thomas Resta. David E. Reddick. Luis Clodoaldo Ravilla. Edubigas Reyes, Jr. Bruce Albert Reynolds. John Frederick Rhodes. Francis Severio Riccardelli. Rudolph N. Riccio. Anne Marie Riccoboni. David H. Rice. Eileen Mary Rice. Kenneth Frederick Rice III. And Vernon Allen Richard. And our son. And our son, Wayne, Wayne Allen Russo. Russo. We God shall love you, and miss you forever, Wayne. Claude Daniel Richards. Gregory David Richards. Michael Richards. Vanessa Orencia Richards. James C. Richies. Alan J. Richmond. John M. Rigo. Frederick Charles Rommel III. Teresa Risco. Rose Mary Rizzo. Moises N. Rivas. Joseph Rivelli. Carmen Alicia Rivera. Isaia Rivera. Juan William Rivera. Linda Ivelisse Rivera. David E. Rivers. Joseph R. Riverso. Paul V. Rizza. John Frank Rizza. Stephen Louis Roach. Joseph Roberto. Leo Arthur Roberts. Michael Edward Roberts. Katharina Robinson. Donald Walter Robertson, Jr. And my son, John Patrick Salomon. And my son, John Joseph Ryan. John, your family will never forget you. Your family and friends love you and miss you, Johnny. Robinson, Michelle Lee Jean Robatan, Donald A. Robson, Antonio A. Rocha, Raymond James Rocha, Laura Rockefeller, 
John Rodak, Antonio J. Rodriguez, Anthony Rodriguez, Carmen Milagros Rodriguez, Gregory Ernesto Rodriguez, Marcia A. Rodriguez, Myra Valdez Rodriguez, Richard Rodriguez, David Bartolo Rodriguez Vargas, Matthew Rogan, Jean de Hestren Roger, Carly Barbara Rogers, Scott William Rohner, Keith Roma, Joseph M. Romanolo, Elvin Romero, Efren Romero Sr., James A. Romito, Sean Paul Rooney, Eric Thomas Romito, Ada Rosario, and my daughter Maria Theresa Santillan, and my daughter Catherine Patricia Salter. Kathy, you were one of six stars in my world, and my world is never going to be the same. I miss you. And my niece, Martha's cousin, Judy Hazel Fernandez. Martha, I know you're above. I'd like you to know that your mom and brothers, Victor and Raymond, as well as relatives and friends, are all here. We miss you and we will never forget you. Angela Rosario. Wendy Alice Rosario Wakeford. Mark Rosen. Brooke David Rosenbaum. Linda Rosenbaum. Cheryl Lynn Rosenbaum. Lloyd Daniel Rosenberg. Mark Lewis Rosenberg. Andrew Ira Rosenblum. Joshua M. Rosenblum. Joshua Allen Rosenthal. Richard David Rosenthal. Philip Martin Rosenzweig. Daniel Mosetti. Richard Barry Ross. Norman S. Rosenau. Firefighter Nicholas P. Rosomondo. Michael Craig Rothberg. Donna Marie Rothenberg. James Michael Wu. Nicholas Rowe. Timothy Allen Moy Sr. Paul G. Ruback. Ronald J. Rubin. Joanne Rubino. David M. Muddle. Bart Joseph Ruggieri. And our beloved son, firefighter Christopher A. Santora, Engine 54. We love you, Christopher. We miss you, Christopher. Your entire family and friends think about you each and every day. You're in our hearts and prayers forever. Susan A. Rogiero. Adam Keith Ruhalter. Gilbert Ruiz. Abdulio Ruiz Diaz. Stephen P. Russell. Stephen Harris Racin. Wayne Alan Russo. Michael Thomas Russo Sr. Edward Ryan. Jonathan Stephen Ryan. Matthew Lancelot Ryan. John Joseph Ryan Jr. Tatiana Rayova. Christina Sunga Rayuk. Jerry Saada. Jason Elazar Sabag. Thomas E. Sabella. Scott Saber. Joseph Francis Sacerdote. Jessica Lea Sach. Francis John Sarocha. Jude Safi. Brock Joel Safronov. Edward Saya. John Patrick Salamon. Hernando Salas. Juan G. Salas. And our lovely son, EMS, 
Mario Luis Santoro. Mario, I love you. We miss you and we are very proud of you. Hijo, vos sabés cuánto te queremos y cuánto te necesitamos. Un beso. Chao. Es Marilyn Antonio Salcedo. John Salvador Salerno Jr. Rama Salye. Richard L. Salinardi Jr. Wayne John Salomon. Nor Norbert Salomon. Catherine Patricia Salta. Frank Salvatera. Paul Richard Salvio. Samuel Robert Salvo Jr. Carlos Alberto Samaniego. Rena Sam Dinu. James Kenneth Samuel Jr. Michael San Felipe. Sylvia San Pio. Hugo M. Sane. Jacqueline Patrice Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez. Raymond Sanchez. Eric M. Sand. Stacy Lee Sanders. Herman S. Sandler. James Sands Jr. Aileen J. Santiago. Kirsten Santiago. Maria Theresa Santillan. Susan Gail Santo. And my son, Scott Mitchell Scherzer. Your mother, sister Lori, and I love and miss you every moment of every day. Life will never be the same for us. And my precious son, firefighter Nicholas P. Rosamondo. We love and miss you, Nikki Love. And most certainly, we will never forget you. Christopher Santora. John A. Santorada. Mario L. Santoro. Rafael Umberto Santos. Rufino Conrado Flores Santos III. Victor J. Saracini. Kalyan Sarkar. Chappelle R. Sarker. Paul F. Sarley. Deepika Kumar Saralordi. Gregory Thomas Saucedo. Susan M. Sauer. Anthony Savas. Vladimir Savinkin. Jackie Saye. John Michael Sabarado. Robert L. Scandal Jr. Michelle Scarpita. Dennis Scazzo. John Albert Sharp. John C. Scarf. Frederick Claude Sheffold Jr. Angela Susan Scheinberg. Scott Mitchell Scherzer. Sean Schelke. Stephen Francis Schlag. John Schlissel. And our son, Matthew Carmen Salido. Matthew, your brother Jonathan, your mom, and I love you dearly. And may God keep you in the palm of his hands until we meet again. Karen Helene Schmidt. Jan Schneider. Thomas G. Scholes. Frank G. Schott, Jr. Gerard Patrick Schrang. Susan Lee Schuler. John T. Schroeder. Mark Evan Schumeyer. Edward William Schunk. John Burkhart 
Schwartz. Clarine Shelley Schwartz. Adrian Victoria Shibetta. Mark Schwartz. Randolph Scott. Raphael Skorka. Arthur Warren Scullin. Christopher J. Scudder. Margaret M. Seeliger. Michael Herman Seaman. Carlos Segata. Anthony Segata. Matthew Carmen Salito. Jason Setzer. Larry John Senko. Howard Selwyn. And my loving son, firefighter, firefighter Robert, Robert Edward, Edward Evans. May he rest in peace. We love you very much. Arturo Angelo Sereno. Frankie Serrano. Elena Sasanova. Adele Christian Cesar. Sita Namala Sunarin. Karen Lynn Seymour. Davis Greer Cessna Jr. Thomas Joseph Sgroy. Jayesh S. Shah. Khalid M. Sahid. Mohammed Shah Jahan. Gary Sami. Earl Richard Shanahan. Neil Sastri. Catherine Ann Shatsoff. Barbara A. Shaw. Jeffrey James Shaw. Robert John Say Jr. Daniel James Shea. Joseph Patrick Say. Mary Kathleen Shearer. Robert M. Shearer. Linda Sheehan. Hage Sefi. John Anthony Sherry. Ed Susie Siratori. Thomas Joseph Schubert. And my son, Jais Esa. My, Jais, my loving son. We all are here. Your wife and children, your brother and his family, and your aunt and her children. We love you very much and we miss you so much. You be happy wherever you are. And our daughter, Stacy Senes McGowan. We love you. We miss you. You were the best. Mark Schulman. C. Wong Shum. Alan Abraham Schwartzstein. Johanna Sigmund. Diane T. Signer. Gregory Sikorsky. Stephen Gerard Siller. David Silver. Craig A. Silverstein. Nasima Hamid Simji. Bruce Edward Simmons. Arthur Simon. Kenneth Allen Simon. Michael J. Simon. Paul Joseph Simon. Marianne Teresa Simone. Barry Simowitz. Jane Louise Simkin. Jeff Lyle Simpson. Kamladi K. Singh. Roshan Ramesh Singh. Thomas E. Sinton III. Peter A. Syracuse. Muriel Faye Siskopoulos. Joseph Michael Sisowak. John P. Scala. Francis Joseph Skidmore, Jr. And, and our, our son, son Christopher, Christopher Paul Slattery. Slattery. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. Forever in our hearts and in our minds. Toyana Corliss Skinner. Paul A. Skrzipek. Christopher Paul Slattery. Vincent Robert Slavin. Robert F. Sliwak. Paul K. Sloan. Stanley S. Smagala, Jr. Wendy L. Small. Catherine Smith. Daniel Lawrence Smith. 
George Eric Smith. Heather Lee Smith. James Gregory Smith. Jeffrey R. Smith. Joyce Patricia Smith. Carl T. Smith. Kevin Joseph Smith. Moira Ann Smith. Rosemary A. Smith. Leon Smith, Jr. Bonnie Jean Smithwick. Rochelle Monique Snell. Diane Bullis Snyder. Leonard J. Snyder, Jr. Astrid Elizabeth Sohan. Sushil S. Solinke. Ruben Solaris. And, and our, our son, Lonnie J. J. Stone. Stone. LJ, we miss those great hugs. Love you forever. Naomi Leah Solomon. Daniel W. Song. Michael Charles Cerisi. Fabian Soto. Timothy Patrick Solas. Gregory Spagnoletti. Donald F. Pampinato Jr. Thomas Baraccio. John Anthony Fataro. Robert W. Spear Jr. Maynard F. Spence Jr. Robert Andrew Spencer. George Edward Spencer III. Mary Rubina Sperando. Frank Finale. William E. Spitz. Joseph Patrick Spohr. Klaus Johannes Brockham. Serenia Serenuan. Fitzroy St. Rose. Michael F. Stabile. Lawrence T. Stack. Timothy M. Stackpole. Richard James Stadelberger. Eric Tallman. Gregory Stock. Alexandru Leovistan. And my son, Tommy Sullivan. And my daughter, Astrid Elizabeth Sohan. Mom and Dad, miss you and love you very much. Corina Stan. Mary Domenica Stanley. Anthony Starita. Jeffrey Stark. Derek James Stadkevikus. Craig William Staub. William V. Steckman. Eric Thomas Steen. William R. Steiner. Alexander Robbins Steinman. Andrew Stergiopoulos. Andrew Stern. Martha Jane Stevens. Michael James Stewart. Richard H. H. Stewart, Jr. Sanford M. Stoller. Douglas Joel Stone. Lonnie J. Stone. Jimmy Neville Story. Timothy Stout. Thomas Strata. James R. Strain, Jr. Edward W. Stroud. George J. Stroud, Jr. Edward T. Strauss. Stephen R. Strauss. Stephen F. Strobert. And our son, Paul Talty. We all miss you and we all love you and we know you are in heaven. So hold the back door open for us. And our son, firefighter Brian Edward Sweeney. Bri, your family loves you and misses you. Walwyn Wellington Stewart, Jr. Benjamin Suarez. David Scott Suarez. Ramon Suarez. Javier Suarez. Yuichi Sugiyama. William Christopher Sugra. Daniel Suar. David Mark Sullins. Christopher P. Sullivan. Patrick Sullivan. Thomas G. Sullivan, Aurelio S. Samaya Jr., James Joseph Suazo, Colleen Supinski, Robert Sutcliffe, Celine Sutter, 
Claudia Suzette Sutton, John Francis Swain, Christine M. Swearson, Brian David Sweeney, Brian Edward Sweeney, Madeline Amy Sweeney, Kenneth J. Swinson, Thomas Swifts, Derek Ogilvy Sword, Kevin Thomas Sazik, and my wonderful, beautiful daughter, Renee Tetral Newell. Renee, mom knows you're up there hearing me somewhere. We want you to know, honey, our family is never the same without you and it never will be. Love you, sweetheart, and look after us, okay? And make room for all of us. Love you. To my beloved daughter, Maurice Tam, and my beloved bro brother, Wai Ching Chung. We miss you, and we love you. Ngoi nui tham ca wai, bao tai chung wai ching, ngo de wai nhin du wai wai dim nei. Gina Stenberg. Norbert P. Zerkowski. Harry Tabak. Joanne Tabik. Norma Taday. Michael Tadonio. Kichiro Takashi. Keiji Takahashi. Phyllis Gale Talbot. Robert Talhami. Sean Patrick Talon. Paul Tolte. Marita Tom. Rachel Tamares. Hector Tamayo. Michael Andrew Tamuccio. Kenicherio Tanaki. Rondell Cherie Tankard. Michael Anthony Tanner. Dennis Gerard Toramina, Jr. Kenneth Joseph Tarantino. Alan Tarasiewicz. Michael C. Taru. Ronald Tartaro. Larissa Salon Taylor. Johnny Brooks Taylor. And my son and brother, Glenn Thompson. Glenn, we love you and we miss you. And to my son, probationary firefighter, John Patrick Tierney. We love you, Johnny. Michael Morgan Taylor. Paul A. Tatemeyer. Yeshua Morishua Tembe. Anthony Timster. Dorothy Pearl Temple. Stanley L. Temple. David Tangulin. Brian John Terenzi. Lisa M. Terry. Gamati T. Thackerdee. Hashad Sham Tardy. Michael Theodoridis. Thomas F. Theokoff, Jr. Leslie Ann Thomas. Brian Thomas Thompson. Clive Thompson. Glenn Thompson. Nigel Bruce Thompson. Perry A. Thompson. Vannevar Alexei Thompson. William H. Thompson. Eric Raymond Thorpe. Nicola Angela Thorpe. Saul Edward Thierry, Jr. John P. Tierney. Mary Ellen Tiesi. William R. Tiesta. And our son. Stephen Kevin Thompson. God, God bless, bless you, you, son. Kenneth Francis Tietjen. Stephen Edward Tig. Scott Charles Timmis. Michael E. Tinley. Jennifer M. Tino. Robert Frank Tipaldi. John James Tipping II. David Tirado. Hector Luis Tirado, Jr. Michelle Lee Titolo. Alicia Nicole Titus. John J. Tobin. Richard Todisco. Vladimir Tomasovic. Stephen Kevin Thompson. 
Thomas Tong. Doris Torres. Louise Eduardo Torres. Amy Elizabeth Toyen. Christopher Michael Trina. Daniel Patrick Trant. Abdul Kareem Traora. Glenn J. Travers. Walter Philip Travers. Felicia Yvette Trailer Bass. James Anthony Trentini. Mary Barbara Trentini. And our son, Lincoln Quape. Firefighter Rescue 2, Brooklyn. Link, we all miss you. Everybody in the family, your sister and your brother, miss you so much, and we both miss you so much. You've left us two beautiful grandchildren, Clint and Natalie, and we're helping take care of them. Thank you. Lisa L. Cheritola, Michael Angel Trinidad, Carrara Terrara, Francis Joseph Trebino, Gregory James Trust, William P. Savellis, Zanetta Valentinova Soy, Michael Patrick Tucker, Lance Richard Tumulti, Ching Bing Tung, Simon James Turner, Donald Joseph Tuzio, Robert T. Tome, Jennifer Lynn Zemis, John G. Usafa, Tyler V. Ugolin, Michael A. Giuliani, Jonathan J. Human, Anil Shavari Umaka, Alan V. Upton, Diane Marie Urban, John Damian Vicaccio, Bradley Hodges Vadas, William Val Parcel, Felix Antonio Valle, Yvonne Valle, Benito Valentin, and my son Harvey Joseph Gardner III, my special hero, you're always in our hearts. And my son, David Torado, you'll always be in my heart. Mom misses you so much. Santos Valentin Jr. Carlton Francis Valvo II. Vinyala Van Sakrishna. Erica H. Van Aker. Kenneth W. Van Orken. Richard B. Van Hine. Jen, Jen Van Lea. Edward Raymond Van Acor. John C. Van de Vanda. Frederick Thomas Baraki. Kopala Krishna Varadhan, David Vargas, Scott C. Basil, Asael Ismael Vasquez, Archangel Vasquez, Santos Vasquez, Peter Anthony Vega, Sankara Sastri Velamuri, Jorge Velacruz. Lawrence G. Velling, Anthony Mark Ventura, David Vera, Loretta Ann Vero, Christopher James Vialonga, Matthew Gilbert Viana, Robert Anthony Bacario, Celeste Torres Victoria, and my son Ariel Jacobs. I will always remember you and my son, Edward T. Simone III. We love and we miss you. Watch over Joanne, Stephanie, and Eddie, Michelle and Danny. We will never forget. We love you forever. Joanna Vidal. Joseph Vincent Vigiano. John T. Vigiano II. Frank J. Villanola, Jr. Joseph Barry Villardo. Firefighter Sergio G. Villanueva. Chantal Vincelli. Melissa Vincent. Francine Ann Virgilio. Firefighter Lawrence Virgilio. Joseph Gerard Viciano. Joshua S. Vitale. 
Maria Prococo Vola, Lynette D. Vasquez, Garo H. Boscurgian, Alfred Vacosa, Gregory Kamal Bruno Watler, Mary Alice Wallstrom, Gabriella Wiseman, Courtney Wainsworth Walcott, Victor Walls, Kenneth E. Waldy, Benjamin James Walker, Glenn Wall, Mitchell Scott Wallace, Peter Guida Wallace, Robert Francis Wallace, and my son, firefighter Michael Emmett Brennan. Mikey B., we have a heavy heart. And my son, Joseph Gerard Viciano, we love you, Joe, and we miss you. Roy Michael Wallace. Jean Marie Wallendor. Matthew Blake Wallens. John Wallace Jr. Barbara P. Walsh. James Henry Walsh. Jeffrey P. Walsh. Ching Wang. Wayben Wang. Michael Wakola. Stephen Gordon Ward. Timothy Ray Ward. James Arthur Warren. Brian G. Warner. Derek Washington. Charles Waters. Patrick J. Waters. James Thomas Waters, Jr. Kenneth Thomas Watson. Michael Henry Way. Todd Christopher Weaver. Walter Edward Weaver. Nathaniel Webb. Diner Webster. William Michael Weems. Joanne Flora Well. Michael T. Weinberg. And our beloved son, Kenneth Ace T. Watson. From engine 214. We love you, Kenny. Stephen Weinberg. Scott Jeffrey Weingard. Stephen George Weinstein. Simon Weiser. David M. Weiss. David Thomas Weiss. Vincent Michael Wells. Timothy Matthew Welty. Christian Hans Rudolph Wemmers. Sue Hui Wen. John Joseph Wenkus. Ole De Wenderchok. Peter M. West. Whitfield West, Jr. Meredith Lynn Whalen. Eugene Whalen. Adam S. White. James Patrick White. John Sylvester White. Leonard Anthony White. Melissa Y. White. Wayne White. Edward James White III. Kenneth Wilburn White, Jr. Leanne Marie Whiteside. Mark P. Whitford. Michael T. Holy. And our son, Kevin Michael Williams. We miss your big smile, Kev. Hey, we love you so much, babe. Mary Catherine Wyman. Jeffrey 